Brie. What is popping YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, dope ass Panda. And Yaya. Yaya, the greatest. What's your um adored? What is it? That's why. That's why old YouTube channel for like sixth grade. I just haven't changed. My I'm done with you. <laughs> Today we are doing medium knowledge from start to finish in the back underneath. She's gonna have a pop of color She wants to do 27 So we're gonna do that for her and Yeah, Merry Christmas y'all. It's almost 2022. I'm gonna be brand new in 2022. Y'all not even gonna know me no more I'm switching it up You know how to be like new year new me New year new me what? Who else was just on her tiktok live? What's popping? Yeah, y'all, I be trying to go on TikTok Live, but I be missing my YouTube people because y'all know, y'all y'all not real writers in here. You feel me? So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. This is my second client of the day. Aw, thank you, Danielle. Is it Danielle? I'm assuming it is. Hey, Panna, it's Kamaya. Hey. They don't know about Kamaya. You listen to Kamaya or no? No. You know who I'm talking about, right? No. no? You don't listen to Kamaya from the Bay. She does, uh, what's that song? What's the song you would know? Um, how does it feel to be rich? Oh, yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's Kamaya. Yeah. That's too old for y'all. For you? No. Yeah. That's not hella old. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's Kamaya. Hope you had a Merry Christmas. My Christmas was cool, y'all. The older you get, the less Christmas be Christmassy. I don't be getting gifts like that no more. I'm more of like a giver, but it's still cool. I like to be with my family. I feel like I can't wait for it to not be like a pandemic anymore because the whole family be getting together. It was just my immediate family, and it's like I already be seeing y'all. I like to catch up with like, you know, mm -hmm. all my cousins and stuff, but it was still cool. Were you with your family? I was with my family, but it's just like my immediate family, like my mom, my brothers. Yeah. Like, it's not, you know how, like, Christmas used to be, like, you link up with all your cousins? Yeah. It wasn't like that. It just wasn't, it ain't been the same. It didn't even feel like Christmas. Right. Like, Christmas Eve, I was like, oh, it's Christmas time. You know how usually you'd be, like, can't sleep, excited? Yeah. It just be feeling like Christmas this year. It just wasn't given. Y'all did my Christmas shopping the night of Christmas Eve. I was at Target. <laughs> Buy all my gifts. Buy gifts. Everybody was up in there. Yeah. So busy. At Target? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't actually... It was, like, busy, but it wasn't like I thought it was. Like, they did a really good job of, like, having all the cashiers open. Yeah. Like, it wasn't hella crazy or nothing, but... Yeah. At first, I was like... I was like, I'm not really doing gifts this year because I've been just having a lot going on, y'all. And then I started feeling bad. I'm like, I can't show up to Christmas with only, like... I'm like the sister who like be going all out. So it's like, I can't show up with just one gift. So then I went and got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff for everybody. But yeah, it just, I'm glad to know I'm not the only one though. It wasn't feeling like Christmas for you. Mm -mm, not at all. I feel like the morning of Christmas, it was feeling like a little more like Christmas, but yeah, this is the product I'm using today. Pure O Lock and Twist. You can purchase it on Amazon. It is expensive. I'm just going to warn y'all. But uh, it may be going crazy. But yeah. So hopefully y'all got everything on y'all list. Did you get everything on your list, Yaya? Or yeah. what? You did? And more. So, That's yeah. what's up. Oh, and, and more. Okay. And anything else I want, I have the money for because they gave me money. Period. You just going to get. But I love when they give me money. That's yeah. like the best gift because like. <laughs> then you could really get what you want. I don't know what you want, but here. No, for real. Especially at your age, it's like, you could really... At my age, I feel like I really could buy whatever I want. But at your age, it's like, you know how you be wanting stuff and they mm -hmm. just don't be understanding or getting it? Yeah. It's like, yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Who all ate gumbo yesterday? I walked in the house. I was hella mad my parents didn't make gumbo. They did the Thanksgiving spread. So it was good, but I'm like, I just had this a month ago. <laughs> this old now. I was trying to pull up to some gumbo. Yeah, Your family nice. be making gumbo? Uh, not all the time. She, my mom didn't make it yesterday though. But she does though, right? Yeah. Maybe for New Year. Mm -hmm. 
I, I kind of like when she makes oxtails. I don't know. It tastes so good. I don't think I've ever had oxtails before. They're so, well, at least the one my mom makes. Like the Jamaican ones. Like if you ever go to a Jamaican restaurant, get the oxtails. Cause I don't think I've so ever long. ate Jamaican food. That's just like Caribbean food, right? Yeah. I'm not a fan. What? Maybe I I just haven't really, like, I feel like I haven't had, like, authentic Jamaican food, so I probably shouldn't say I'm not a fan. Yeah. But that's, like, jerk chicken and stuff, right? Well, that's a type of chicken that they cook, but yeah. But, like, yeah, oxtails do, yeah. Oxtails are really good. Like, and the fried plantains. Oh, I have, yeah, I do the plantains because they, they do that in Panama. Yeah, and it, it tastes really good, like, especially when you eat in that meat and the rice and then a little sweet flavor with the plantain. Are you Jamaican? No. <laughs> uh, you saying that like you getting it, like, you saying that like you be getting a, you making it sound good. Like, you be getting it the best is, of the best. Right, she is missing out. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna have to try, maybe that'll be a YouTube video. Yeah. I'm going to have to go try it, because I Jamaican never. Jamaican food bang. Yeah, I feel like. Me, personally, like, I'm not a person... Like, if we go to the restaurant, I'm getting the same thing every time. No, but yes. you can't be like that. I don't switch up, because I feel like most of the time when I eat, I'm hella hungry, and I don't got time to play around. You ever order something, and it was hella nasty, and then you just yeah. hella pissed off because you got to eat it? No, I usually... But I usually pick out good stuff, like, you know? But you got to be, like... You got to be... Yeah, you gotta try it Bruh, out. You no. gotta, you gotta, you can't be ordering the same stuff. I do though. So one time I went to Texas, I went to Papados, and I was like, you know, okay, I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna order something different. I ordered, um, they had like this shrimp and grits little dish or whatever, yeah. and so I'm like, you know, that's probably gonna be hella good, like shrimp and grits. Yeah, that shit was hella nasty. It wasn't like you know how you think of grits, right? <laughs> like grits. Shit, with the little thing. Hella good though. Well, doing my. It wasn't good, bruh. And I, t- I even told the waiter, like, it was disgusting. I was like, bruh, this, I can't even eat this. And then he was like, yeah, I don't know why you ordered that. Like, that's not. <laughs> was it a black place? Huh? Was it a black Papa place? Do's? Yeah, it's like, it's like a big restaurant out there. I think that's like, isn't Papa Do's like a good to people in the South? But it was so nasty. So I ended up getting something different. But that's why I'm like, I don't be trying stuff. Because I was like, hecka hungry. Yeah, I'm the type like I'm gonna get the same thing. Okay, every so my mom's time. a my mom's best friend is like a caterer, the one I said that's gonna be at my party. Uh huh. She got a place in Oakland, and she's the first. No, no, no. She's not the first person I tried shrimp and grits from, but her shrimp and grits are hella good. Do you know what Brenda's is? Uh uh-uh. uh Get their shrimp and grits. I promise you, like you gonna fall in love with their food. Like, nah, people always be saying that. Nah, and don't be nah. Good. This shrimp and get grits is the reason why I love shrimp and grits. Brenda's, it, mm. it's like a you like beans. Yeah. Uh, nah. See, like you don't red have a good beans tape. and rice. No, hell no. Any kind of beans. Red That's beans already no. We're not like going green. Do you like onions? No, not really. Oh no, we don't. Mm-mm. We don't eat the same, y'all. Yeah. I love onions. How and you I like hate beans. onions but not red beans and rice? Red beans and rice is beans is disgusting. Wow, Brie. I can't believe you. Are you being serious right now? Yes. Red beans and rice? Who you likes never that? Had seven food? That's not serious. I don't like soul food. food. I don't like soul <gasps> food. You don't like No. That? You don't like no, soul food? No. Like greens and. Ugh. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that. What the heck? But some southern food I like, but most of it don't be really tasting that good. Uh, uh, I'm not going to I can't believe you said greens. Ugh. I mean, I like, like, I'll eat the chicken. Do you even like mac and cheese? Yeah, come on now. Well, you Hell like, yeah. You don't like. I like mac and cheese, yams. Yes, come on. Well, you yeah, can yeah. say you don't like so food, so. I just don't like greens. And then everybody be like, not greens. No, your greens are nasty too. <laughs> <laughs> they do be saying that. They do be like, I be doing that too. Like, you ain't tasting my mama's blah, blah, blah. My mom could cook hella good, but. Nah, I like soul food. I just don't like greens, but. Okay, I'm going to have to try it's Caribbean. Just veggies. Yeah, it's just not my type of it. I like asparagus. Yeah, asparagus is good. Hella good. Season. My mom would be making it. Yeah, I love asparagus. That's my favorite. Mm-mm-mm. I can't believe it. But yeah, what y'all eat yesterday? What did y'all eat? 
turkey, mashed potatoes, greens, dressing. Oh, so you had a Thanksgiving spread, basically. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. And then my mom, she makes like sweets, like treats from scratch. Ooh, so she her likes to bake. Pie, oh my gosh, it's the best pie I've ever tasted. Mm, in my I don't life. know about that. And I am not exaggerating. Like, it's it could like, be the best to you, but I'm pretty sure my mama makes the best apple nah. pie. <laughs> nah, sis. I'm telling nah. you. Yeah, yeah. You ain't tasting my mama's though. Your mom's is probably from scratch. Yes, from scratch. She the even flour? goes to the field and picks the apple. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, she goes and picks it up at Safeway, warms it up in the oven. No, no, no. It's more than warm it up in the oven. <laughs> my mom was got You said from scratch, right? She pulls off the foil. No, my mom makes the, 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 the crust, the the topping. And it's not even like a sweet apple pie. It's like it's that tangy, sweet, buttery. Oh, you be eating it with apple uh, pie. You be I eating it with ice cream? Breakfast, yes. Not for breakfast. I ate it this morning too. I so why you ain't bring me a piece? Because. I wow, like you hella fake. You know I like I apple pie. You. Oh no. She no, I don't want no stale ass apple pie. What you talking about? I got you. <laughs> I was gonna say I got you. We'll What's the next like time I'm gonna see you? Right. <laughs> In like three weeks. <laughs> you gonna bring me some three week old apple pie? <laughs> I'm hella done. <laughs> Not I got you. I got you, Reek. <laughs> So now it was all right, but I heard that Christmas doesn't feel the same. It really doesn't. <laughs> they still have Safeway stores. I can't remember the last time I saw a Safeway grocery store. Yeah, they do out here. Yeah, we, that's the spot. Safeway and Target. Yeah. And Costco. Yeah, yeah. It's going to take me about three hours to do these. My stomach. We talking about all this food. <laughs> My stomach is. Is she getting any black? Um, she's getting like a number four at the top. We're just basically doing from ear to ear down with the color. What made you want your color like this? Because I I wanted to dye my hair like this for the longest. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It's just a cute look on me. But I don't want to dye my hair like that anymore. So you kind of just wanted to look. see what it would look like, or you yeah. just know it's gonna be cute. Yeah. Yeah. It's cute. It's like a little peekaboo, like yeah. a little pop. And I can't get colored because I go to a, a, a dance school. Well, not a dance school. You go to OSA? Yeah. Oh, okay. So we can't have, like, you know, unnatural colors. But, like, I would have got pink or, like, red or something if I was allowed to. It's, like, it's like against y'all dress code? Mm, yeah. I, yeah, it's, like, unprofessional or whatever. Gotcha. The natural like hair clips like blonde and ginger and yeah stuff like that are allowed. Just not like vibrant colors. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. You can't have nails or nail color. You can't have nails. Nope. Damn. Yeah, I'm a nails girl. Like. I feel like I've never seen you with nails. You seen me with nails for my birthday? Did I? We did a uh, silk press. Oh, you had nails on? Yeah. And you was hmm. over here, you think you grown. <laughs> that hella sound like me, because I do. You think you grown with them nails on, hey, girl, you is not you grown. Some. I only got my nails done, like, oh, I got my nails done four times, and then, yeah. I got my nails done so bomb um, this one time in the summer. Mm hmm But then we had, no, that was after competition. You had to take so, them off. Ooh, I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, I had to take them off when I went to OSA, so. Dang, that sucks. Yeah. Kinda don't remember nothing. I know. I have literally the worst memory. I really need to get that fixed. Yeah, you do have the worst memory. <laughs> I do. You know what? These Honestly. Are my nails. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, they are. Okay. So you think you grown with them nails. <laughs> Girl, goodbye. Those are heavy cute. Let me show them. Can I show them? Yeah. She thinks she grown with them nails. They too long. <laughs> They were so cute. I got them. How like you get your so designs? Cute. You go on like Pinterest or TikTok or yeah, what? I go on Pinterest. I got a. I save like I just be going through Pinterest and I just save a whole bunch of nail designs. ideas. Yeah, that's what's up. Um, yeah, twenty twenty two, y'all. I don't think it's like my memory is bad. I think I have like selective hearing. Like when people talk to me, I'm my tune out game be just so good, and I really think that that's what it is. So twenty twenty two. I'm going to work on being a better listener. <laughs> I'm being hecka serious. Like, sometimes when people talk to me, it's like I'll be just zoned out. Yeah. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. 
and not like trying to be rude, but it's just like I feel like in my mind I be thinking about so many things at one time that it's just like I'm not focused on, you know? Yeah. The combo at hand. So yeah, <laughs> he said that's effed up, Hannah. No, for real. I'm being hecka serious. It's not like a rude thing. It's just like you ever been like talking to somebody but you thinking about something else and then they say something good and you like, wait, what? Yeah. It's like that's what I be doing. Cause I'm just thinking about heck of stuff. I hate lasagna. Somebody said, hey, uh, "What the heck? Are you being baby? serious right now?" Lasagna is so good. It's not heck of bad. I just don't. I don't like red sauce. What? I don't like lasagna or spaghetti. Do you like pizza? No. <gasps> Only if it has white sauce. Ew, that's heck. Of no, when I, that's why I like to go to like Mod or Pyology. Uh uh. Are you serious right now? I'll eat it, but like. You, you eat pizza with white Alfredo sauce. Yeah, you don't knock it because you haven't tried it. I have. It is disgusting. I don't like tomatoes. That's why I, said, I don't really like tomato sauce what? or tomato paste. Uh oh. I'm actually a picky eater, y'all. All I really eat is we seafood. We can tell. <laughs> oh my goodness. Really? I'll eat, but I'll eat pizza. I'll eat pizza, but it's like if I have my preference, it will be Alfredo sauce. Uh uh-uh. oh. Have you ever had it, Yaya? Yes, because my dad like Alfredo sauce too. Me and my sister love like veggie pizza with all the vegetables, like green. Oh, oil. like combination? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then one day he just decided, oh, I'm going to put Alfredo sauce on it. And we was so mad because <laughs> it just ruined the whole pizza. He was like, like it's not even giving right, what it was supposed to. tomato sauce. It gives the flavor. Nobody. If you don't like tomato anything, then how do you eat pizza? You can I just have pizza without tomatoes. Yeah, you can have you can have pizza without tomatoes. So I'm like, wait, what? Am I? <laughs> you had to think about it. I did because I was like, wait, huh? But I mean, okay, it's not to the point where like I won't eat it. Like I said, I'll eat regular pizza, but I like to go to places where you can like build your own pizza. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of Mod or Pyology. It's like a pizza place where you can put your own toppings and stuff on it. Yeah, Mod is the best. I love Mod. Really? I think I like Pyology better than Mod because I feel like you can get um, different types of, like, the crust. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They give you, they give you more variety. Options. Yeah, but they're, but, um, because I like how they do, like, the stuffed crust, too. But I just they're like both how good. Mod cooks my pizza, like. It be tasting better? Yes. Yeah. See, I don't have a Pyology close to me. I think the closest one is closer to y'all, like, Oakland. In San Leandro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's one in San Leandro. Yeah. But honestly, I don't even just eat hella pizza like that. Like, I don't I even... Love pizza. I mm-hmm. went to New York because my mom stayed out there and stay out here. Mm-hmm. So I went there and, oh my God, the pizza was so good. Well, that's like... The, isn't it like more authentic out there? Yes, but the pizza was the best ever. So like, if they ask... If your parents ask you what you want to eat, like, you'll say pizza? Not really anymore because the way they like the way I taste it, their pizza and like pizzas out here, they be like so. Damn, amateur. you can't even eat our pizzas no more. Unless it's like mod or something. But after you, but no, like after you had a New York pizza, yeah. our pizza don't taste the same. Yeah. Damn, I'm gonna have to try it. That's crazy. That's crazy. New York style pizza. Yeah, I'm not really a pizza type of girl. Yeah, slices, not pizza. Is that what they call it? Now y'all doing too much. You know damn well they call it pizza. (laughs) Love from Canada. What's up, Canada? Shout out to all my Canadians. I want to go to Canada. I want to go to Canada too. I heard like it's hella chill out there people is cool they do have some really good mexican food out here bruh the mexican food out here is ugh, i had mexican food in texas and i was so pissed off <laughs> i said y'all don't got no taco trucks my sister was like no yeah i think about it we do like other places when i go to like atlanta alabama and all that type of stuff they do not have like the same like you know hype for mexican food I feel like when you go to those places and you even mention Mexican food, it's like, what? <laughs> like, they don't get it. Because I'm like, you ain't never been here and had... Oh, yeah, L.A. too. 
Yeah, LA has hella. Oh my God, LA is damn near better than us. Damn near. Like when they I went out really there, there was this Mexican little taco stand. That shit was. Oh my God. Yes, and on Hollywood, like they just be cooking. Yes, like on the, you know what I'm talking about, like on the yeah. street. Yeah. They have this Mexican place and um. Bro, they put pineapples on my burrito, and at first I was hella irritated because I was like, "Why the hell they would put you put cucumbers on my burrito?" Bro, the like... pineapples though, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Ah, bands will make her dance." It was so good. Yeah, it was still good, but it was just interesting, like that you put cucumbers in my. Burrito. Yeah, it's kind of weird because it's like, why would you do that? Mm-hmm. But it was so, bro. It was smacking. It was smacking. You making me hungry right now. Right, right. And I haven't even ate it. I yet. went, um, I haven't either. I went, I literally ate, like, once I had it at that place, I literally ate there every single oh, day. Oh, wait, I did have an apple pie. Never mind. I'm also so like hungry. that. Are you like that, too? Like, yeah. if you, if you go to, like, a restaurant or a place, like a fast food spot, mm-hmm. and you like it, you can eat it every single day? Yes, like, I live right next to, in, there's an in and out Mm-hmm. And, oh my gosh, I'm just, Ooh. that's how I am but my husband is not like that like he'll after like two days he's like I'm tired of that it's like bruh how are you tired of it it tastes so mm-hmm. good I can eat this every like, single day like there's a shake shack down the street from my school mm-hmm. and I can never get like old of it like it's so good no heck of good that's crazy oh my god really PJ no carne asada yeah you tripping carne asada is so bomb it's the best. That's all I really carnitas get. Carnitas too. Carnitas. Oh my gosh. I ordered that. Carnitas. That's my cousin name. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, what? Would you rather eat pineapple on your pizza or drink pee? Ugh, pineapple, pineapple on my pizza. Pineapple on pizza is good though. It's hella good. I don't know why people think it's not good. Right. Shake Shack. And I'm definitely not better. drinking no pee. What? I have eat, been eating sushi for the past week. No, I'm got Sushi. sushi. <laughs> Sushi is so good. Oh my god. Bruh, I could eat sushi every day. Literally. Oh my god. It's this one spot in uh San Francisco. That shit's so good. It got so bad where they knew my order. I showed up, they said, same thing. I said, damn. I need to stop (laughs) I need to stop coming here at this point. Oh my god. Sushi go crazy though. I love sushi. Me too. So bomb. Mother mmm. My mama ordered me some sushi from over here. Y'all see that with my little part? What? It's like a little lump in my part. I'm irritated about it. Anyway, um. I think that's just my fat scalp. Your scalp don't be moving, does it? I don't know. I don't feel like it does. But, um. Do y'all have sushi king? Yeah, we do have sushi king. Do we? I don't be eating it. Where is that at? I don't know. Sushi really King? Because I've seen it on DoorDash. No. You the... hate sushi. What? No, you haven't had the right sushi. Sushi's so good. How could you say that? The disrespect. Mm-hmm. You know what else be hecka good? Ooh, I'm going to eat here tonight. What? Monkey King. <laughs> what is that? You never had Monkey King in Alameda? Uh-uh. Oh no! Know. Yeah, yeah. I live in. It's, too. it's Chinese food. Oh, for real? No, don't ever do that. Don't just say like, "Oh, for real." Like, <laughs> you never had monkey king? No. That shit hella good. What they got? All the Chinese stuff you could think of. It's hella good. Th- no. Oh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna have to take you there one day. Yeah. Heck no. To sushi, even if I was allergic, I wouldn't eat sushi. No, what? what? You don't like sea? Okay, if you don't like seafood, then she said she's allergic to it, but she still wouldn't eat it if she. No, but did she say it. seafood? Like you can't not yes. like seafood. That's literally the best meat. Ever. Crab, I could eat that every Crab day. Is so bomb, rock and crawfish is so good. I like rock and crawfish, but I don't like the sauce, so I just get it with butter and garlic. Yeah. Oh yeah, my yeah. God. When I literally when I eat that and I eat that sauce. When I tell you I'm on the toilet, not even five minutes after it goes into my system, the I cannot eat that. The fish, like the blend, like the mixture of both is so good. Oh my God, I'm going to order some today. Mm-mm. Rock and Crawfish, for those of y'all who are not out here, it's like one of those places where they give you your seafood in a bag with all that sauce. That <gasps> sauce. Is nasty. Mm-mm. You tripping. 
Oh, you're tripping. I, I can't believe people are like this. I know. Like, what do you do with, with your life if you don't even like seafood? That shit cray. Mm-mm-mm. That shit cray. We need to stop talking about food though. My stomach is. <laughs> My stomach is definitely a rumbling. I'm literally finna order something. It's definitely a rumbling. Y'all, I have to fix this. I can't. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a quick fix. Y'all can't really see, but y'all see right there. It's gonna really bother me. It's gonna really bother me, bother me, bother me. I've been really trying to work on um, perfecting my parts, y'all. And I'm like, until I hold myself accountable and like every time something ain't right, take that braid down, it's not gonna get better. So I just gotta suck it up. I just dislike sushi, but I don't dislike the people who eat sushi only if they are going all around telling people to like sushi. <laughs> I'm like, done. You can't dislike people for not eating the food. That's kind of messed up. You don't eat seafood? Yeah, I can't be your friend, sis. We got all this food for Christmas, and I want Chinese food right now. Bruh, I don't know what is wrong with me, and my husband is like this too, but I hate eating leftovers. Unless it's like what? something that tastes better the next day, like gumbo. Now, I got an air fryer, so I can, like, you know, finesse it. But I don't know why. It's like, I don't want to eat the same thing. Like, if if I do, it needs to be fresh again. Like, I don't know what it is about it. You don't be feeling like that? Mm Mm-mm. It's like, bro, I've been eating this Thanksgiving food for two days. Like, I'm not eating it no more. Nah, I'll eat it till it's gone. (laughs) Really? Yes. I don't know what it is. Or just like you said, it's like, if I have a taste for something, I just want that. Like, there could be hella food in the fridge, but it's like, nah. Like, I want sushi, though. Yeah, true. So, I still just, yeah, but that's good. Don't waste food. My dad, he's hella good about that. Like, he'll find a way to make it into a burger. (laughs) Like, he be getting creative. Very much bougie. Me? That's bougie? I just like it's not even about being bougie. I just feel like I don't have a taste for that no more. Don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Is it cool watching you, you yourself get your hair done? Yeah, that's why I always be on your live. So why we, why I'm here because I like watching you. <laughs> it be feeling like I be moving fast Mm-mm. well yeah but it's like kind of like uh, it's not on time so I just be feeling it first and then I just expect it oh got gotcha. you got gotcha. you yeah it's like delayed I don't know why it be like that yeah yeah Panna Diva what y'all get for Christmas <clears throat> So, for Christmas, my uh, older brother got me some Michael Kors uh, slippers, like house shoes. And my parents gave me $600. And that was it. That's all I got for Christmas. I was selling them on TikTok. Like, I don't really, like, I'm 31. So, it's like, I don't really get stuff for Christmas. And for my brothers, they both have babies already. So, it's like, we really just do it for the kids. But, honestly, anything that I really, truly want, I already have. So, anything I would get for Christmas would just be a bonus. So, I don't really trip off not getting much. I'm more of, like, I like to give. I like to see people super excited to open gifts. What's funny? Because my mom said the exact same thing yesterday. Anything yeah. Anything else I get is a bonus. Like, those exact words. Yeah, it's like, anything else that I get is a bonus. But it's not like, if somebody was like, oh, I can't get you anything for Christmas. It's like, that's cool. When they asked me what I wanted, I was literally like, I don't know. Wait, are you braiding it all the way to the end? Yeah. You don't want to braid it to the end? No, because sometimes you'd be leaving it halfway. Oh, I am. <laughs> I thought you meant like for You the... like doing that? It's cool. I like doing it when I'm on live, yeah. I feel like it's quicker. Yeah. You thinking about that uh, TikTok I made? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, fuck. <laughs> yes, you're done with all of them, but you have to go back and re-braid it. Bruh, it really be like that, though. Yeah, but when you're an adult, y'all, I feel like Christmas don't really hit the same. It really don't. 
unless you're a celebrity. I feel like they still be doing the most on Christmas. Giving they wide they they girlfriends five Birkin bags and all that. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had conch salad? Conch salad? What is that? That doesn't sound like nothing I want to eat. And no man. <laughs> when it comes to salad, I'm sticking to Caesar or a vinaigrette. Yes. Or a Greek Ooh. salad. <clears throat> yes, Greek salad. Oh, Greek salad. I haven't had that in a minute. Yeah, I haven't had a Greek salad in a minute either. I'm addicted to watching you work. I have panic withdrawals. I'm hecka done. Girl, that's how I be feeling watching your videos too. I be just staring. And then it be hecka funny because I, I have to catch myself. I'm like, damn, I already watched these blends, but I just keep going. It's so satisfying. That's what's up. The feeling is mutual, sis. Unless you have an engagement plan, Christmas isn't the same. No, for real. Christmas, I feel like everybody has been saying, though, this year that Christmas didn't feel the same. Like, it really, I don't know what it is about Christmas this year, but I hope Christmas don't die out. Because that's what it feel like is happening. You don't feel like that, Yaya? Mm, I hope not. <laughs> Yaya, know, like, it better not die out till I'm 18, huh? Right. But I know, like, it did this year. It just wasn't kind of like Christmas. Yeah. But maybe for rich people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. For the rich people, it yeah, was probably Christmas, Christmas was party. Christmassing. <laughs> Christmas is dead as hell. No, I'm God, PJ. It's like, it just ain't doing what it used to do in the previous years. I don't know what it is. Remember that live when you burned your foot and had to put it in the sink? Oh, my God, Yes. Oh my gosh, that was literally, I was literally being tortured. I still got the burn cream in here from that. And my foot ended up having black marks on it. I was like, ugh. Ooh, I'm dreaming of a black Christmas. Ever since COVID hit, people are scared to even be around their own family. So many people lost their lives. Yeah, that's part of it too. Because I was telling her like, when we got together yesterday, it was just our immediate family. But it's like, I see them all the time. Christmas, it used to be like the whole, even Thanksgiving, it used to be like the whole gang at my mom's house. We used to play hide and go seek in the dark. This was hella long ago. <laughs> but like, you know, it was just the whole gang. And now it's like, I see my crusty ass brothers every day. Like, <laughs> it ain't hitting the same. Like, it honestly just felt like my mom cooked some food and we all came over to the house. It wasn't hitting like it used to hit. I'm trying to see my, my distant cousins that I don't be seeing all the time. And then we link up and we be like, oh, yeah, we're going to start hanging out. And we never do. But it's still, like, hella fun, you know? I miss that. It's just my funkin' brothers. Mm-mm-mm. But we're about to actually, um, ooh, my bad. We're actually about to go to the snow. So I feel like that's going to be hella fun. I'm going to vlog it. We taking my nephew and his friend and we going there for the new year. So that's going to be pretty lit. Finally feel like I'm getting out and doing something. Mm-hmm. What you doing for New Year's, Yaya? Absolutely nothing. My parents going to be out. You going to pop that apple cider bottle? <laughs> hey, it's lit. And then put it in a champagne glass like you doing something? Yeah. Y'all be doing that or no? <laughs> what? Not anymore. I haven't done that since I was like younger. So what you be doing on New Year's? You just count down on FaceTime with your friend? <laughs> That's what last year my mama was out, so I was in the house by myself. Oh you you should have threw a function. No, I'm just kidding. I was in Georgia. So. <laughs> I be wondering if that really happens in real life. Like how people's parents be going out of town and then the kid throws like a party. You know how it'd be on movies? Yeah. My mom would have literally it's so rich. No, it gotta be rich people. Cause first of all, my neighbors was hella nosy growing up, so like we definitely wasn't getting away with that. Right. And then on two, I just knew if I got caught, it wasn't gonna be worth it. <laughs> it wasn't gonna be worth it. Yeah. That's all. And I remember one time my parents went out of town. It was just me and my little brother, cause my older brother went off to college, and I snuck a boy over, and my little brother told, bro, <laughs> I was so hot. I was pissed. I'm like, damn. You said they always beefing on mama's side. I'm heck of Not the fan band beefing. 
can you make an up close video on how you braid i think my finger placement slows me down yes i can i would have been peeping out the window wondering if my parent would drive up if i threw a party non god and my parents they be trying to do the trick a -roo. like act like they going out of town but they really in town just to see what we gonna do but my my house got heck of security camera and it got rings. Oh, rings! Yeah, you can't do so that no more. You can unplug the ring and just be like, it must be the internet is disconnected. You can't even unplug. It's like on my like it's connected to my front door, like you know. But you can't disconnect it. No. Huh. It's weird, like unless you like have the app. But my parents, they have their app on their phone. So they can see. There gotta be a way. You need to put a, a black piece of tape over the camera. And then be like, I don't know what happened. Like, maybe the camera True. went out. But, like. but like, No, because then they're gonna be like, put me on FaceTime and let me see. And yeah. then you're gonna be like. And then, then you gotta break like, your camera has, like, on your phone. Or whatever. So anytime a drive even drives on the street, it, like, goes, like, off. So, like, it'll send this video camera footage. So. Even if it was, like, a black screen, they'll still, like, get all the motion stuff and be like, what's going on, you know? They'd be like, there's hella traffic on our street. There's hella cars driving down our street. <laughs> Look, y'all, y'all, you like, Bree? Nah, hell nah. I forgot about technology. Oh, they say you can still hear voices. You're going to have to tell everybody. Oh, yeah, 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 whisper yeah, yeah. at the door. You got to tell them to whisper. They can hear voices, too. And you can talk to them. They'll be like, is anybody there? Is somebody And then smiling? just tell them to be like, DoorDash. Hell no. Nah. It's that's too much. And then my street is like kinda cluttered. Not really, but it's like That's perfect. So that's how you could tell them it's like a traffic on the street. Like I don't know. Nobody be coming up. Cause I live on a hill. You know where Bishop Dow is? Yeah. I live up there, so it's like quiet, you know? Like it, Got you. Nobody be So really they're not gonna believe there. all them cars. Yeah. yeah. Unless Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth it, yeah, yeah. Just don't do it. Uh, no, I no mean, way. my parents are the type to probably let me have a little get together. Yeah, mine's was too, honestly. They let me have a um, they let me have a little party. They just told me no, no twerking on people, but we were still doing it. Right. Like y'all can't see everybody. <laughs> That's why you like at the front, like at the front area, everybody was cool. But it's like when you get deep in there, <laughs> hey, toss it up. But you yeah. shouldn't be doing that. So at your 16th birthday party, don't think that's going to be happening. Just know it is. Baby. Just know it's not going to be happening. And just know, I got all y'all on TikTok and Instagram. And just know, I'm going to see all the videos. And just know, I'm going to come up there with my comb and say, be like, this is how far apart y'all got to be. Just like this. <laughs> Would you kick me out the party? Would you be like, Brie got to go? No. <laughs> no, heck nah. It don't be heck of parties like that no more, huh? Because of COVID? Like, people don't be doing nothing? Yeah, not no more. What's up? What time is it? Yeah, whenever we done, I'm going to come up. But I'm probably going to be late. Is that 4.30? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll probably be there. Well, I am going to be there, but I don't know. Yeah. All right. Bye. Who that is? Soraya. And why she didn't say hi? <laughs> Fake. Where y'all going? I got rehearsal for Taj Little Film. Oh, yeah. I'm doing y'all here for that. I know. I got to text her back today. It's a film? I thought it was a photo shoot. No, it's a film. It's like a short film? Yeah, we're dancing. Hmm. Hey, I'm watching you. <laughs> Who was that, Soraya? <laughs> Sadia. <laughs> yeah. That's heck of funny. Who made y'all dance up? Uh, Taja and Ashanti and Paris. Mm -hmm. So the old heat dancers. Interesting. Yeah. That sounds fun. Yeah, hopefully. I have I missed the first practice. Because I was. Are you a quick Yeah. You was in Jordan. I was with Jordan. Oh. I'm a. I'm only a quick dance learner because like a Jalen, because like we work with him. Oh, yes. and he be making y'all be. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta pick up stuff fast with him. Mm -hmm. 
my life, my life, my life. Uh, let me turn on live chat. I'm like, why can't I see nobody talking? I don't like that. There we go. How long does it take? How long does it take you to do small knot list? I'm assuming you meant butt length. Um, if I'm doing my small size, it's probably going to take me five to six hours. But I have an assistant now, so all of my stuff is going to be a lot quicker, but... But, yeah, it's usually going to take me five to six hours. Going into 2022, though, y'all, like, I got really fast at doing hair because my clients used to be stacked back to back. But I'm not going to do that going into the um 2022 because, like, number one, I just don't want to work that hard. And number two, I want to try to, like, focus a little bit more on um per perfecting, like, certain parts of hair. And so I don't want to be, like, braiding under pressure. I still give 100% when I'm booked and busy, but it's just, like, when I can really take my time and focus on all the little small intricate details, I feel like my work will elevate. Yeah. So I'm going to be, like, taking time to do that. <clears throat> yeah, even, like, tucking. Like, I want to get better at tucking and everything. There's just stuff I want to improve on, especially since I'm going to be teaching classes. Let's work on my craft. Y'all not talking today. Y'all quiet. I think that's because we stopped talking about stuff. Yeah, we was going in on food. Next topic. What's today? Sunday? Yeah, the 26th. 26th. Okay. It don't even feel like the day after Christmas. Like, what the heck? Exactly. This is heck of weird. I wonder if New Year's is going to feel like New Year's. It's going to feel like it for me because I'm going to be different in 2022. Mm -hmm. New yeah, Year, new me. it's going to hit different for me too because I'm trying to like pop out. Pop out in what different. type of way? Like, you know, like. You just changing style. some stuff? Well, not a new style, but I'm going to be like <clears throat> more consistent on like getting cute because like this year when school started, I was like, okay, I'm going to get cute. You know, I'm going to be just cute. And then it just turned into me wearing hoodies and sweatpants <laughs> and crop dang there every day. And I just want, like, because I like getting dressed up. And, and people, like, say they like my outfits and stuff. So, like, I want to, like, get consistent on mm -hmm. being cute. Right? And then, like, being me too. lazy and stuff. So, that's something I'm going to work on for 2022. What's your New Year's resolution? You said I thought you were going to retire. Yeah, I said that, but, um. Well, that's a Riley Riley. Is that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I think I said that at, uh, what's it called? At yeah, dance class. Yeah, you did. Because <laughs> I be saying all type of stuff. Yeah, yeah. What's the worst yeah. hairstyle you ever had? <laughs> my mom, so she would put my hair in a, in a puff and put a braid. <laughs> like right a here? Ducktail. Yes. And it would be so annoying. Why can't you just put the braid up? I don't know. Why black moms do that? <laughs> Bruh, my worst is my mom used to put my hair in a bun, like, all my hair in a bun, and she used to pull out, like, the little sides right here and Shirley Temple curl them. Bruh, I used to hate that. And I was cheering for, um, I was cheering Pop Warner at the time. I don't know if y'all know what that is, but it's, like, when you cheer for the little football players. Yeah. Bruh, and I would be the only one with them two stupid curls, and she's like, you better not pull them back, because I used to try to tuck them behind my ear. Bruh, I hated that. <laughs> Like, I feel like if they were straight, it could have been cute, but they were literally, like, hella spiral curl tight, like, with a roller. Like, this hairstyle? Let me see. Uh-uh, look at Yaya! Everybody based for this video, but anyways. Oh, man. But, yeah, it's the braid. It's just so annoying. Like, I just had this stupid oh, I see old it. braid in the back of my head. <laughs> Y'all see it sticking out? It's hecka big. Why is it so big? I thought you mean, like, a tiny... Done. Because you know when you, you your braids start, like, loosening up. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. I was about to say, I thought you meant, like, one little tight braid. Oh, well, it was when it was first done. <laughs> That's hecka funny. It would just be in the back of my head. I was so like happy, y'all. Uh, <laughs> when I was um younger, and I used to try to wear my hair in one ponytail, and my mom would be like, you don't want that. It's like, yes, I actually, I do. Like, I do. I want one ponytail. I don't want these seven ponytails with barrettes when I'm in the seventh grade, bruh. <laughs> that used to hella piss me off. And she'd be like, you don't, you're not even going to like it in one ponytail. Like, girl, yes, I am. The hell? <laughs> I'm hecka grown. Trying to get a boyfriend, period. Just kidding. Bye. <laughs>
Oh, that's a really good one. That is mine too. Yeah. My New Year's resolution. What's yours, Yaya? Yeah, the same thing, like being consistent on my style Mm -hmm. and like doing more things for me, like to better myself. Like, what can I do that I love and get better at? You know. That's good. Mine's is gonna be like separating my work life from my personal life. Um. So I'm going to, like, get better with scheduling because all my stuff is going to go back to being online. Mm-hmm. Um, and just setting more boundaries for myself. Like, I feel like I am the type of person, like, I let people... I'm not going to say they necessarily take advantage of me, but I will, like, inconvenience myself to, like, please other people. Like, for example, doing people's hair on Christmas Day, like, little stuff like that. Did somebody hear you say no, but it's just, like, little stuff like that. Like, I be feeling bad that I, like, if somebody asked me and it's like, oh, I could have just gave her two braids in the morning real quick. Like, you know, yeah. that's just type of stuff that I do that I shouldn't do. So, it's just, like, setting boundaries for myself to make sure that I'm not, like, inconveniencing myself to please other people. Because mm. sometimes I say yes when I know I don't want to do something. And then when I'm doing it, it's like, I'm just not happy. So, that is probably... And then I also want to look cuter when I come to work here. But I feel like that will happen when my schedule is not too crazy. Because, y'all, I'll be at the salon looking a hot ass mess. Mine is to stop <laughs> Literally. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I procrastinate That's so a good much. one. I'll be procrastinating, too, about certain stuff. But I feel like that used to happen more when I was in school. Like, y'all in school, so it's hella easy to procrastinate. Yes. Especially but you said you get good grades. Yeah, but I don't be doing stuff to the last minute, you know? Mm-hmm. So they did drop at one point. But it wasn't like the end point, but you know, they did yeah, drop Yeah, but it's like you knew you could have did better. Yeah. Well, that's good that you recognize that. I'm proud of you for getting good grades. What grade are you in? Yeah, 11. You're in the 11th? Yeah. Okay. So this year ain't been kicking your butt? Because you know, isn't junior year supposed to be like the hardest? Yeah. Has it been killing you or has it been cool? It's been killing me, actually. Dang. But I think it's, it's just kind of stressful because I have a lot of going on. Mm-hmm. So. Do y'all still take the SAT? We took PSAT and my score was so <laughs> Dang. <laughs> but that means that if I, like, do practice, like, I practice it and stuff, mm-hmm. and it's good by the time I, like, do it again, mm-hmm. then I can get hella scholarships because that tells colleges I've been working on it and stuff. Oh, that's good. Like, it's like they they see you improve. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So, well, girl, sure. really apply yourself because... I, gotta I didn't know if you had to take something. it because I heard that um they, like, canceled it because of COVID and stuff, well, but... Well, they canceled it as... Or it was a, optional or something? Yeah. it's Well, it's not optional, but... Colleges don't look at it like, you know? How they used to? Yeah, colleges, they're, it's not um, required for you to get in, you know? Okay. Well, for some colleges. But I know for some scholarships, it's kind of required. Not exactly required, but they want to see it. That's what's up, girl. And get focus on those scholarships. I wish I would have been more serious about that. Because that student loan debt ain't no joke. And your president is playing. <laughs> Talking about he was going to give us some relief and then changed his mind. The new trend is people enroll in a junior college and then transfer it to a four-year university to avoid taking the SATs. Yeah, I wish I would have did that because I did it the opposite. Y'all went to a university and then went to community and then went to cos- cosmetology. But I wish I did that and transferred in because you just save so much money doing it that way anyway. Especially since, like... I feel like my first two years of college, I was really just taking prerequisites. Like, I could have took that at a junior college, but, yeah. They say, Yaya, you're pretty. Oh, thank you. I'm pretty. Y'all ain't even seen her face yet. I or maybe they call my Instagram. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm like, y'all ain't even seen this yet. Yeah, yeah, Yaya is beautiful. Oh, thanks, Bree. You know I love you sometimes. Heavy on the sometimes. Bye. Just Can kidding. we order food? I'm finna order food. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. Can I order food? Technically, you're not supposed to be eating in here. Oh, my goodness. 
You said I was on her IG, okay. Uh, follow Yaya. I feel like, do I follow you on Instagram? I have a new, so basically, you follow my old account, but I made a new one because I just got tired of, like, I wanted, like, a new look. Not a new look, but I wanted to, like, start over. Why you didn't just archive it? All your stuff. But I still, like, follow hella people, you know? Oh, you was, like, trying to really be. Yeah, so I made a new account, and it's cool. It's giving what I want it to be. Are you, like, the type, like, you be posting your photos a certain way? Like, you know, people be, like, heck of aesthetic. Like, you want it to look a certain way, like, oh. all shades of one color. Like, you yeah, know. Yeah, I get what you're saying with that. Yeah, I like that stuff, but I don't really, like, give, like, put that on my page, you know. Oh, okay. You talking about, like, what Taja do? Yeah. Yeah, I like that, but I don't really do that. I did that on my last account, but I don't do that no more. That's how be heck of work. <laughs> I do. Hello, Pena. I greet you from Puerto, Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. That's what's up. Hello. I, I thought you was about to say Puerto Rico. <laughs> I said Puerto... Oh. Okay. Big up yourself. That sounds interesting. I missed it. Ah, I'm kind of live. What's up, girl? Welcome to the party. It's Boxing Day. Are you working? Why are you working? What is Boxing Day? I have literally have never heard of that. Like boxing in the rink, like we've been a tussle or what? Mm. Like we gonna tussle or what? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ooh, 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 Kevin. You want a side part or a middle part? Um, middle. Middle. Well, does the middle part go to side part? Well, if you do the middle, you can, like, push it to the side. I feel like sometimes yeah. with the side part, it's kind of... It'd be looking funny when you try to make it the middle. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Mm-mm-mm. Hands on your knees while you're about to do mm-hmm. 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 <sighs> That's what I need. I need new Victoria's Secret bras. Mm-hmm. I'm about to go to Vicky's Secrets. You wear Victoria's Secret? Yeah, well, I wear pink, not Victoria's Oh, yeah, Victoria's Secret is more, like, sexy. Yeah. Yeah, pink is more, like, I do both. I just say Victoria's Secret, but I feel like I'd be on the pink side more, too. They have cuter stuff to me. Yeah, they do. Victoria's Secret is more, like, lingerie-ish. Pan, I don't want to get blocked, so this is my last time. United Airlines lost my bag, and it had my edge control. Oh, my God. Uh, Holy crap. I hope they find it or they haven't found it and it's been a minute because that's hella annoying. I'm sorry, y'all. And also, I'm trying to read everybody's comments, but it's hard for us and even Yaya to read. You don't have to go in there, Yaya. I'm just saying, like, I be, you know, I know y'all don't be trying to get blocked for spamming, but I'll be really trying to read. But yeah, DM me and maybe I can help you out. Right now, I'm using expressions hey, braiding here. <clears throat> Y'all know I do have my own braiding hairline, but I'm, um, all of my colors are not here yet. So, I got, like, a Uber Eats gift card from my dad, and I'm trying to use it, but I know I'm on your account, so, like, how does that work? <laughs> oh, okay. That's it? Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, boom. We are all done with this color. Yeah, me and Bree be telling my members. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's your mom. All right, bye. That's your mom? No. Who's that? My mom's wife. She be on live? Yeah, I be sending it to them. Why do you send it to them? Because they be laughing. (laughs) They be thinking we funny. Yeah. That's heck of funny. She was like, tell them I said follow me. Oh. Absolutely not. Why you hating? (laughs) Y'all follow her. Even though we don't know her account. She got an Instagram? Yeah. 
You let your mom follow you on Instagram and stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I follow my spam. She follow your spam? Mom, that look cool. You must not be posting on there often. I do. I feel like some people's spams. So on my spam account, I follow a lot of people's. Not I'm not saying y'all. Like I'm just saying like people y'all age spam accounts. Y'all be posting, not y'all, like I'm saying. I like, know, I know? do, I do. <laughs> y'all be posting some out-of-pocket stuff. Like, I do. <laughs> when I go on my spam account and be looking, I'm like, sometimes I forget I'm on there, so I'm like, who is this? Like, and then I look yeah, and I'm like, post spam for real. I don't. It's like one day I'll remember I have it and I'll post Hecka and then I'll go ghost again. Yeah. But. No, I'm on To be honest, I don't really like I don't really go, like, I don't really post on Instagram that much outside of my hair page. Yeah. And even that is, like, not hella. Like, I don't really post a lot, you know? Yeah. I don't know why I just... Let's see. But I'm going to be posting more. Like, I'm going to get cute more, like you said. Mm-hmm. Y'all got 50, I could literally have, like, 50 New Year's resolutions. <laughs> You year. know what pictures I like of you that's so bomb? It's the one of you on the boat. Forgot. Really? Yeah, those are hella I feel like I look hella fat in those. What? Yeah, they're cute. You oh, like you I must like that wig. No, nah, it was just like the whole these ones too on the beach. Oh yeah, those were cute. Yeah. I'm those fat in those cute. too, I know. This was so bomb, like those are cute. Yeah, I was living my best life. And I and I like the uh last year, I think yeah, last year Christmas with the McQueens. Oh yeah. Those went crazy. Yeah. I just like I be wanting to post more, but I feel like I don't get like cute enough to post, you know? I'm always in something casual, something chill. Yeah. Um, because I'm either going to work or getting off work, but that's why I'm gonna fix my schedule up. Cause I wanna be cute. Like, I want to be, like, influencer cute. But sometimes I'll be thinking, like, where... Like, the influencers who post heck of pictures, it's like, are you really going somewhere or are you just getting cute for the day? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It just posting? Because it ain't no way you cute every day like this. Yeah, they do be cute. <laughs> they be heck of cute every day. Like, I want to do that. Yeah. Boxing Day, which servants, trans, trades people, and the poor traditionally were... Presented with gifts by the 21st century, it had become a day associated with shopping and sporting events. Yeah, I've never heard of that, nor do I celebrate that. I don't really, I've never heard of that. Which one's your door? Um, let me see. Damn, there's like something in my mask. Ugh. Your mask ever be getting stringy? Uh, uh. And be like itching your face? That's no, I'm wearing because I wear these ones. Yeah, I'm like, that's why I don't, I'm not wearing these ones no more. I need my... What you need? Oh, my... go ahead. <laughs> Thanks, at Toya. Uh-uh, these braids too long and you think you've grown and you're not. Anyway. That's like my favorite thing. Y'all, whenever I'm doing, like, y'all guys not a kid, but y'all know what I mean. Like, whenever I'm doing younger people's hair, that's my favorite thing to say. Like, you think you've grown and you're not, so. <laughs> and you're not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's They have to do that because people be stealing gift cards. No, scratch with a coin. Oh. Uh, like what? That's how um I bought my nephew a Roblox box card. Oh yes, I love Roblox. You I bought him. It, it was like Robux. Gaming video. Girl, but playing, he spent that all in one day playing what? Like any game, and then have somebody edit it. Like, doesn't your boyfriend? I mean, hus- fiance. <laughs> your I'm husband. Yeah, husband. Get it right. <laughs> your husband like do editing. Uh huh. So just have him like edit like your screens where they like the video shaking and then 
Like, you know, like, make it cool. Yeah, yeah, what stuff. game would I play? I play... Any game. Just I play like, Diner Dash, playing, bro. Just be like, oh, I'm pl- or play a scary game with him. And just, like... With my nephew? Your reaction. Yeah, just be like, my first time playing Roblox. So you want me to be a gamer? You can do a gaming video, you know, like... Because people like watching that. And they really? laugh at it, yeah. Like, especially since you, like, saying you want to do, like, a personal YouTube more. Mm-hmm. Like, you can do, like, stuff like that, like stuff like that because i be watching the gamers like even they're not even gamers for real but like you they'll know just how, play a game yeah like if you ever watch like well back in the day when cj so cool was popping he would like play games with his kids you know mm. and then people will actually watch it like just have you like you i feel like the hard thing for me is like i don't play games exactly so it's like i don't have no hella funny because you don't know what you're doing no but it's like my attention span is not gonna be there yeah like you know like when i play roblox with my nephew after like 30 minutes i'm like i don't want to do this no more it's not fun yeah like but i get what you're saying like even i could just record it for that 30 minutes yeah or it's like it's just not fun to me but maybe i could try it one time just to see that might make it more funny because it's like, ugh. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably be panicking because it's a scary game. They actually be scary? Yeah. I watched that dude who plays Roblox. He's like a black dude. Kevin or something? Kev G? Mm-hmm. I might have made that up. I feel like my nephew watches this black dude. He's like heavy set, And he plays Roblox. You know who I'm talking about. No, I don't. You said you watch gamers. Yes, yeah, sometimes. He, like, plays Roblox. Hmm. No, it's not Corey. It's his name. Oh, Cor- uh, I know. If Maybe it's, Corey like, name. Kev got game or something. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I made him up. Gaming with Kev. There you go. <laughs> yeah, my nephew be watching him, and sometimes I'd be watching, and he'd be like... Yeah, I'm like, man. Oh, yeah, I know who you're talking about. Is that him? Let me see. Let me see his profile picture. That's his profile picture? Mm-hmm. What the heck? How am I supposed to know if that's you? If that's a <laughs> Roblox character? No, I know Let who you're talking about. Turn it down. Oh, it's turned down. Oh, it's in your ears. Mm-mm. Now turn it down. Turn it down because it's copyright. Let me see if this is him. Get in the video. Scroll <laughs> it. Yeah, that's him. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's him. What's his name? Kev. Gaming with Kev. Gaming with Kev. Okay, yeah, that's his name. Yeah, my nephew be watching him. Sometimes I'll, like, you know, I'm, like, doing something, but I'm, like, watching, too. Mm-hmm. And I'll be like, he really into these games. Pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Y'all, you should not stack, stack product on your band like this, okay? Don't do what I do. Maj. That's how you ruin your band. I don't know. I think the gel going to fall. It's not going to fall, but you shouldn't, like, put this much. Because it, it, like, these are, like, glued on. And I've done this heck of times. And when it's too much weight on it, like, moving back and forth, it, like, breaks it. Like, it's not strong enough to hold all that. It's not built for that. Uh-uh. Wake it up. You tired? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm going to look at some food. I believe. <sighs> I believe what? <sighs> I believe she's black and Panamanian. Yes, I am. <clears throat> okay. huh? Reminder, Toya needs an appointment. Toya got my number. Toya, don't do that. Panna, I would want to take what? I thought you would want to take a break after Christmas, girl. Also, did you enjoy your day off at least? Yeah, I had one day off and that was Christmas Day. And I did want to take the day off, but y'all, my schedule is changing for the new year, so I'm trying to get my people in one last time because they ain't going to really hear from me like that. <laughs> what you trying to say? I'm changing my phone number, Yaya. No, don't do that. No, I am. I am. I have to. Then give me it. I have to. No, yes. I can't. Mm-mm. Yes. B, Mm-mm. what do you do? How am I going to be able to reach Instagram. you? Instagram. You know me put I have to, yeah, because I have to set boundaries. And, like, right now, there are people who have access to me that do not need to have access to me. 
then give the people who like have access to you. No, because it's like there's just things that I'm not gonna want. Like I don't want to be bothered about hair anymore. Like I don't want to be hit at the last minute anymore. Yeah, it's like sense. I actually get that. You know, and the, the only way for me to like do that is to not for people to not have access to me. It's part of me setting boundaries. I like don't want to have to do it, but I have to do it. I really sense. have to. <sighs> Dang. Yeah. But you can still hit me on Instagram. I see you every Monday. True. How True. about you come to class? I do come to class. Yeah, you do. Okay. That's <laughs> fine. We see each other on Mondays. Yeah. I'll be staring, waiting for the jail to go. Y'all, it's not going to go because it's like a thick. It's not going to go. Mm-mm. Is your nickname Yasita? No. I just made that up. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, y'all see that. I'm gonna start calling you that. Does your back hurt while braiding? No, my back doesn't hurt while braiding. I feel like my my posture is fairly good. Like you know, I have my chair that can go up and down. So no, but my feet hurt a lot, y'all. And recently, my hands have been starting to hurt. Not nothing crazy, but let's just say, for example, if I like do heck of clients back to back a couple days in a row they'll start to hurt yeah you've gotten lean now before the baby you gotten learn you gotta learn now oh you gotta learn now before the baby no for real hello i can talk for a second Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You been watching Shark Tank? Huh? <laughs> I said, What you been watching Shark Tank? Okay. Okay. Okay, for sure. <laughs> Tell mama I say hi. Yeah, I'll be down for that. No, because my other my second round is just coming in. It's out of stock right now. Okay. It's going to go pretty quick because the heck of people are waiting on it. So I'll keep you posted. All right. Bye. Sorry, y'all. That's my brother. Y'all, he be having hella business propositions. He's I heard the funny. whole conversation. Oh, you heard him? Yeah. Dang. It hopefully loud. they didn't hear. Was it heck loud? Yes. <laughs> I was going to tell you, but I was like, I don't want to interrupt. Yeah. Not y'all heard that. They said, can I get in on the deal too? <gasps> y'all heard all that? What the heck? <laughs> Did you not hear how loud it was in your ear? It didn't sound loud to me. Do you have hearing problems? Because it I was could. like hella loud, like. Hell a lot. Really? Yes. What time did you finish the touch up on the knot list? Um, it took me like two hours to do. It was like one o'clock. Yeah, it was like it was pretty much one o'clock. Yeah, those took long because it was to her knees. And sorry, y'all, y'all, we started late. Mm-hmm. Y'all went to Starbucks this morning and they were moving so slow. I don't know what happened, uh, I but I was so bad for baristas that had to work in the morning because everybody Why? be on their butt. Like, 
and oh, it, like hurry up type. Yeah, and everybody come in in the morning, so they can't really do nothing. You know, they just gotta do the best they yeah. can. And people just be like, "Where's my drink at?" Like, dang. Well, see, I was in trying? the um, I was in the drive through, but like the way it curves, it's like I was like I couldn't get out. Like there was already cars behind me. And they took heck along. I was in the drive through for at least 30 minutes. Like, when I got to the window, they were like, I'm so sorry about the wait. So, I don't know. Something must have happened, you know? Like, maybe they had to remake something or I don't know what happened. But I wasn't tripping. I was just kind of irritated because, like, it made me late for my client. So, I was like, whatever. But, yeah. And you, you only got one drink? I got a drink in a... Um, in a and a bagel but i have made them remake my bagel because they must have made it when i first ordered it and um by the time i got to the window it was hecka dry and hecka hard and like i wasn't trying to be funny but it's like i just waited like damn near 30 minutes like at least i want my bagel hot you know i know it's probably not their fault but <laughs> i know y'all like uh-uh you the reason why <laughs> but but no for like no cap though y'all you know like when a when bread gets old and it's not yeah. Like, you know, it's heck of hard. I'm like, I don't want no dry bagel. So, yeah. I have been getting Starbucks Starbucks medicine ball. What is that? Some type of, like, drink? Healthy drink or something? Not healthy, but, like, you know? Mm. I don't know if I'm 1%. You need a charger? Yeah. Okay. Y'all, y'all getting hungry. I'm about to lose her, huh? <laughs> Pure old knee braid, I think. No, I'm using lock and twist gel. Lock and twist. Mm-hmm. You wanted these braids to your butt. I did. I still do. Mm-hmm. Here, tell me if it works. Because sometimes I got to unplug it and replug it in. Let's see. I'm still eating Christmas dinner. I'm hecka done. We just talked about that. We sure did. said my blob always falls well this product is really thick so this definitely ain't falling but my products that i use to like braid down they be falling off sometimes yeah hey yeah i'll make sure i link the product band in the description section for you guys but you shouldn't put this much product on your band anyway i just like sometimes i'll be just doing the most but really, realistically, you shouldn't be putting this much on there. Ooh, y'all, y'all, these sprays gonna be nice. I'm liking them already. That's a good sign. Yep. I love you and your videos. Thank you. Hmm. How was your Christmas, Panda? I talked about it at the beginning of this video. My Christmas was, it wasn't Christmas in like it usually does, but it was cool. Honestly, I just get excited for my nephew. Like, when he be juiced about Christmas, he couldn't sleep, y'all. This fool took a five-minute nap. He gonna wake up. Is it Christmas yet? I said, no. You slept for five minutes. He was heck of mad. He was like, <sighs> I'm like, bruh, you literally just took a cat nap. So, yeah. I wonder if my brother took him home. Yeah. And then he was like a juice because his parents are not together. So um, he spends, he usually spends Christmas with us because like we are a little, like we're just more big on Christmas. And um, the whole day he was like, I get two Christmases because obviously his mom's side of the family, they do a Christmas for him too. So he'd been waiting to go back home. He's like, he went to sleep again yesterday talking about, I got Christmas again tomorrow. I'm like, you're hella spoiled, bro. That's you too, Yaya. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You said you get two Christmases. Yeah. She need Bree up there to read comments. 
I really don't. I'm reading them. You move so fast and it's still very neat. Thank you. Should I get sushi instead? Girl. I'm getting sushi instead. <laughs> if sushi places are open, you know, they'd be funny about their hours. Yeah. No, nah, but I'm reading y'all comments, y'all. I can't read every single comment. And Brie, do she be reading every comment? I feel like Brie be hit or miss, honestly. Actually. She's gone with her dad now. She left around 5 p.m. yesterday. Who y'all talking about? They said, yes, get sushi. Sushi go crazy. You see, but I'm not finna wait 45 minutes. What roll do you get? Honestly, I get anything that has salmon on top. Ugh. Tripping. You just be us. You flew through the, these braids. Well, I'm not braiding them all the way down yet, so that's going to take like another 45. But I've never seen that much gel on a band yet. I already said don't do this. I'm sorry, y'all. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Don't you hate when parents say that? Yes. Don't do as I do. Do as I say. Bruh. Hello. No, I I sorry. I found out how to do it. Because I didn't know how to add the card, but it said the instructions on the back. So I got it now. Alright, go on. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Taco Bell. Yo, you get a Taco Bell. You know I love me some Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. No kizzy, no cat. I'm wondering, should I get Taco Bell or Chipotle? Mm mm. I'm gonna get Chipotle. Yeah. Taco Bell gonna have you um farting at rehearsal. Bye. Oh god. Sick. Taco Bell be hecka good, but it do be going right through people. Mm-hmm. Like you got a Taco Bell. Mm -hmm. You said Taco Bell always hits no for real. Thank you for liking my work. I appreciate y'all. I really um honestly really do appreciate the love I get on YouTube. It's really unlike any other app. Y'all always show love. Oh, my pizza. When y'all do have, like, critiques, it's always constructive criticism, which I love. <sighs> Look, y'all in this gel on my wrist. I know. I'm sorry. Should I get my pizza? My go crazy. No cap. That might just be the thing. You know what else I like that I haven't had in a while is pho. They say, you say y'all got to let the gel go. No, for pho? Real. You never have pho? No. It's like a soup. What the heck? It's like... Pho. It's like top F ramen. F-P-H-O. Pho? It's... <laughs> no, it's pho. It's pho. Is it pho? Yeah. Pho. <laughs> Is it fun or is it faux? Is it like on phone them or is it on fun them? What? It's fun. It's faux. I want some faux? Yeah. No, that sounds like a Nobody ghetto number. Says pho. <laughs> it's faux. It's faux. Wait, it's fun. It's not. <laughs> it's not that funny. It is that It's fun. I told you. It is literally fun. No, look at what they saying. It's fun. I'm telling you, on it's not on phone him. I'm telling you, it it's fa. Look, it's fa exactly, it's, exactly. It's on phone them. No fa. <laughs> I'm telling you, uh, uh, it's fa. <laughs> Who says fa with an a? Like I didn't say fa. I said fa. That sounds like an a. What the fa? Fa o. Oh. Now, I think I, oh. now that you say it, though, I think I have heard people say pho before. I heard people. But it just sound like, because in Hawaii, there was a place called 24-7. No, for real. That's you could look Hawaii, it up. though. I no, I'm you. saying 24-7, but I'm saying, like, it could be, like, 24-7. Like, 24-7, we in this bitch. Oh, like boy. that. I need a personal opinion. <laughs> Should I get mud pizza? What is your sign? Because you're hella indecisive. You just went through three different. Get something from everywhere. I can't do box braids on my hair. Nope, sir, I can't. Why not? Your hands hurt, Panda? No. My hands are not hurting right now. 
see. Disappointed when they stopped selling the Mexican pizza. I feel like multiple black people were upset when they stopped selling the Mexican pizza. Like, why would you do that? I was irritated when they took away the uh, the the cheddar cheese chalupa. Is that what it was called? Cheddar like, why do you why do you bring stuff and then cancel it? That'd be really pissing me off. We talking about Taco Bell. Like, that really was making me upset. Mm -mm. (laughs) Straight up. Y'all, y'all gonna have to let this edge control go. For real. It's gonna dwindle down pretty soon. Y'all gotta let it go, though. Y'all can't stop talking about it. Like Elsa said, y'all need to let it go. Mm. I wish I was a rapper. I can be a rapper. Let me make a rap song. Would y'all slap it? Um, if I did a song called, like, Knotless. <laughs> get them Knotlesses. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. Get them Knotlesses. Twerk something and get them Knotlesses. <laughs> you ain't slapping that? Would you make TikTok dances to it? Yeah. That's all I need. I'll be famous. Dang, I shouldn't have said my lyrics because now somebody's going to take them. Bye. You know, it's just so much. <laughs> no, for real. They're going to try to take my shit, bro. Get them box braces. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah! I'll do the sound effects. That's going to make it better. Yeah. Do the tongue. <laughs> my pizza. Get them box braces. <laughs> somebody said it's a no. Okay, I got to come up with better lyrics, but. Y'all get the you get the vibes. I can make hair songs. She got them lemonade braids to the side. Sis, head is big. Girl, girl, bye. She said the piece is gonna be cold by the time they get it to me. Who but said that? She right? No, it's not. They're right around the corner. I get mom all the time, and it's very much warm. I'm serious. They're literally like. It's not even five minutes just, from here. I think I just want Chipotle more. That's why. Get that. Get them box braces. Lemonade braids. Do it to the <laughs> side. Yeah. You don't think them them songs would slap? Because anytime somebody get the style, they're going to want to use that song. Because it's going to be like, you know? Yeah. Or I could be like Jocelyn Ka- Jocelyn's... Uh, song it's like y'all laughing at me but really you giving me views though because that's how it is with do it like it's my b-day she think people really like that song and we really just laughing you know yeah <laughs> y'all y'all's like stop talking to me no i just i'm just concentrated on this food. Yeah, no, i'm yeah. listening to you yeah <laughs> y'all, y'all not, she not taking me serious and I'm serious. Mm-mm-mm. All right, y'all. So this is a trick I'll be doing, right? Let me show y'all. For my pre-part, because I've been lazy. This is like, like, I've been lazy with my pre-parts. Like, I don't be feeling like doing it. So what I did, this is what I did on Yaya's hair. <clears throat> I pre-part one side, right? And then I'm going to use this as like my guide. And I just take it all the way around to the other side. So I don't have to pre-part both sides. Like, I know it's not really a trick trick, but... If I still have my guide for my sections, then it still works for me. Because sometimes, like, I just, when I have hella clients, I just, I'm, like, ready to be done. Like, I don't want to, I don't feel like pre-parting like that. So, I'm going to take this here, and then I know that my other section is going to be over here, right? But I'm just using this as, like, my pre-part guide. I don't know if that makes sense. But, yeah. I'm excited because in March, I am teaching my first class. Per, I will be attending. And I'm really excited about it. So, look straight for me. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to give y'all all my tips, tricks, my products. Take home bag. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be very much boot camp style. I'm going to be nice, but I'm going to be on y'all asses, though. Because y'all know I'm all about being efficient. (sighs) Mm 
Having this song, I'm sorry. I couldn't stop. <laughs> it just got hecka quiet for a second. I forgot. I forgot I was on live. All right, y'all, I'm back. Look, I ain't even went nowhere. You want me to leave my baby here, or you want just like a natural swoop in? I'm going to leave my baby here. why that's on my mind where is it going to be at like the city no i'm right now i'm still looking for a venue but i'm thinking more like fairfield i don't like san francisco so i'm definitely not going to the city that's out wait for you for your wedding my class girl my oh. wedding is gonna be all the way in Sac sacramento i want to come you told me i can come um i said that before like when before i started saying no in 2022 no you said it after no, I'm saying, like, before. I'm, like, a different person now going into the new year. You literally said it this year. like a I know, but I'm going to be brand new in 2022. So, like, stop playing Reek. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, like, you know, I'm a different person now. I'm not the same person I was last year. You know? Mm. <laughs> Y'all, yeah, I was like, you're going to get on my nerves with this fake-ass growth, huh? Seriously. You know how expensive weddings are? Mm-hmm. Per person? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because if you come, you're going to need a plus one. Mm-mm. You got to no, bring in a... You got to come with an adult. You can't just show up. Yes, I can. Ma'am. <laughs> oh, wow. Here in if Sac, that's cool. Yeah. you then I'm all right with Kalei because... Jordan and me and best friends, so we just go everywhere together. Oh, are y'all close like that? You didn't know that? Mm-mm. Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know who she was cool with. I feel like she'd be having a heck of friend. No. That's what's up, she though. She don't got a lot of friends. She don't? No. Oh. <laughs> she doesn't like opinions. Man, we finna have barbecue at my wedding at this point, because everybody want to come, and I just can't afford it. Y'all gonna be eating a slab of ribs. Nah, my wedding is going to be really nice. My mom is, like, doing too much. I told her I wanted barbecue at the wedding, uh, like, rehearsal the night before. And she was like, that is just so tacky. <laughs> I'm like, bruh, everything don't got to be a catered dinner. Like, I want some regular homemade barbecue. I love barbecue. Are you still having people dance? Yeah. It Dang, why you telling my me. whole why you telling my whole wedding plans, though? Because it should be me. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yes. I don't ever see you dance. Because you choose not to. Are you good? Why do you think I go to OSA? Mm -hmm. You think people who are bad go to OSA? Mm -hmm. We audition through ballet? I don't know. We get in through ballet. I don't know, yeah, yeah. Either this way, is like, it's a lot of pressure. If you don't Weddings are not dance, cheap at all. I'm be there no, anyways. I know, y'all. Because I've been waiting for this my whole life. So, when we first planned our wedding, we were going through a company called Wedgwood. And y'all know Dre is military. So, with the military discount, but basically, Wedgwood is like a company where it's like all inclusive. All you do is pay, and they pretty much do all your decorations. You pick a venue, they do all your decorations, they cater, they give you the DJ, literally everything. And, um, y'all, our wedding was $28,000, yes, through Wedgwood. And so we were going to do it. This was, like, right around the time of the pandemic. Um, but once the pandemic hit, they were like, there's no dancing. Um, masks were a requirement. There was, like, a limit of how many people, which dropped the price down significantly, significantly because originally my wedding size was 250 like, 250 guests. Um, and then did I say no food already? They said no food. And at that point I was just like, yeah, nah. So we just ended up going to Reno. Cause I'm like, there's no way 
I think our wedding, our wedding price dropped. What was it? It dropped a lot. It was probably like closer to, what was it? Maybe like 15, 16. I can't really remember. But that's what a military discount. That's insane. <laughs> that's insane. And I didn't know that weddings cost that much until I actually got into it. But I feel like this, like going into it now, we're going to plan our own wedding and we're just going to spend money on a wedding planner, like a day of planner. Because it's just cheaper if we piece stuff together ourselves. It's just a lot more work. And we were kind of paying for, like, the convenience of Wedgwood. And, like, we heard that their food was really good. But I'm like, when I started, you know how, like, you hear something and you're like, my dad is gonna was going to help pay for some of the weddings. So, like, you know how you hear something and you want it so bad. So, you're like, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But then when the pandemic hit and our plans changed, I started to, like, think about it. Like, why the hell would I spend $30,000 on a wedding? Like, that's... Mm -hmm insane that's literally insane for one day bruh yeah no so yeah we piecing this wedding together and i'm not trying to spend no more than like something i don't know but we're starting to plan next year so i'm excited about that we're gonna start planning in march after our birthdays so yeah mm 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 that shit was crazy. In Ireland, the guests give $100 per head as a wedding gift so the bride and groom make their money back on the day pretty much. Yeah. And see, that was another thing. I felt like <laughs> you really start, look, when you start hearing them prices, you um, it really was a blessing in disguise. But you when you start hearing them prices, you start knocking people off that guest list because I was the type of person where I was like, oh, I want to have kids there. Like, you know, I didn't want to say no kids, especially because like I really wanted my nephew there. But no, ma'am, when I seen them prices, I said, we really got to have kids like that. <laughs> you start knocking off kids. You start knocking off old cousins that you ain't really spoke to. <laughs> like, you really start knocking off hella people. Like, bro. And then I just started to think about it. It's like half these people, like, don't even call me on a daily basis or don't even tap in. And I'm really trying to, like, invite them and impress them for what? You feel me? Because okay. really, your wedding is about... You want people to walk away and be like, damn, her wedding was nice, right? Yeah, you want me to walk away like that. You want to exactly. impress me. <laughs> you want exactly. me. Meaning so, come. No, exactly so. Girl, <laughs> not trying to squeeze your way in there. So, yeah, the pandemic was definitely a blessing. We just went to Reno, got married. I think the whole thing was probably like a couple hundred dollars. It was heck of cheap. Got married in a tw Forever 21 outfit with my Jordans on my ones her <laughs> it was actually hella ghetto but it was funny the way it all happened so your butt hurt yeah but it's good now stretched it out a bit that was your stretch mm. that was like kind of funny mm -hmm. you wanted these you could have got jumbo you really wanted medium I like the size that you do y'all these look really good i'm actually proud of these i'm getting better y'all ever do that look at y'all work and be like dang i'm getting heck better yeah. pet season city living are essentials hey y'all like the live pin how often should a type four be here what's the rest of the question Hey, everybody. When I have my wedding, I'm keeping the guests small. Too much work. I just wanted to spend time with my husband after the wedding is over. Yeah, that's why a lot of people do honey fun, too. Or, like, uh, what's the other one called? I think we're going to do that instead of accepting wedding gifts because, honestly, we've been living with each other for a while. I think we're going to do honey fun so people can help pay for our um, honeymoon. But as far as spending heck of money on the wedding, like... It is kind of a big deal for my family because, number one, I'm the only girl. Number two, I'm the only one who is, like, getting married. Well, I'm already married, but, like, you know, I'm the only one to be married. Like, both my brothers are not married or they're not in, like, they're in serious relationships, but they're not at the marriage stage. So, especially for my parents, like, this is the first wedding out of their kids. And so, it's definitely a big deal. Like, I know my dad's going to chip in a lot, but I don't know. Being older, I just think about 
all the stuff that that money could potentially go to. And it's like, do I really want this or that? But it's definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be a super nice wedding. So are you going to go live with the wedding? Um, to be honest, like I could live stream it, but it will definitely be recorded in some way. I mean, honestly, like I like to really spend time in the moment and keep like, you know, my intimate moments intimate. So I can't, I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to go live. Like I feel like I'm not a couple's channel where like, I'm pretty sure y'all would want to see, but you know what I'm trying to say? Like I'm definitely going to be more focused on just enjoying the moment for myself but it will definitely be recorded maybe I can see if someone can go live but like I said recorded at least um but honestly I didn't even think about that like it's not gonna be my like main focus so yeah we paid a ton for our stuff and not as many people we want to we want to show up I was hella mad but at the end of the day happy I've heard about that too like when you invite people and they RSVP and don't show up and you <laughs> don't get that money back that's hella inconsiderate I've had to do that one time and I felt so bad but I've sent somebody in my place but I have definitely um I definitely felt super bad about that yeah I am gonna document the process so y'all I'm gonna be like trying to vlog more um just because, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to. So, I probably will do that. Unless you got it like that, it makes the most sense. Right, like, have a professional videographer, photographer. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have that. <laughs> Not send them an invoice, no, on God, because you didn't show up. No, people be really getting into it with family members over stuff like that, though. It's hella inconsiderate. Especially when you know, like, people pay per plate. Like, oh no, man. Yeah. I saw someone have their guests pay a fee and reimburse them if they came. That just seems like a lot of work, though. But I mean, I guess that just seemed like <laughs> I feel like my family would be like, bitch. Serious question Do you ever shake your hand to get the hair off and lose all your product on the floor? I do it by accident all the time, and it's all. I wonder why. Ray, do you know how to do locks? No. I don't know how to do locks. Not like fake locks, you know, but... Real locks with, on yeah. your hair? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant faux locks. You do know how to do faux locks, though, but I wasn't asking for that. <laughs> I don't know why you just tried to lie to me like that. Like, because I don't want you to ask for them. I already know not to ask for them. I know you hate doing them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> come on now. It's me. <laughs> I said, y'all see me pause? I said, no. Um, but to answer your question, I have lost the product on my hand before, but not using this product. Um, it's only like the product I used to braid down. It's a lot more loose. So I'll like shake my hand and it'll come off. Yeah. How often should you get your hair trimmed for 4 before c hair? Um, I don't think it really is about the texture. It's really about what you are doing to your hair and how well you're taking care of it for trims. Like, just in general, I tell people, like, six to eight weeks. Every six to eight weeks, you should get a trim. But you could need it more often than that, depending on what you're doing with your hair. <clears throat> but even if you do, like, say, for example, if you do your own braids at home, you do your own hair at home, that's fine. But I think everybody should have a stylist, like a professional stylist who, you know, can do natural hair care. and Just go see him. You said show us your face. <clears throat> You must not have ever seen me. Yeah. I cut my hair over a year ago and still haven't gotten it trimmed. Some people, like, if they take really good care of their hair, can go really long times. But if you are someone who doesn't like to get your hair trimmed, then you should get it trimmed more often. Because the more, the better you you take care of your hair, the more you get it trimmed, the less they have to take. Like, my clients who wait, like, a year in between their trims, I typically have to take a little bit more than I would someone who comes, you know, every six to eight weeks or every four to six weeks or whatever. Because it's just, I mean, over time, those split ends are just going to keep going up and up and up and up. So, yeah. Penny, you be doing hair all day, every day. <laughs> I'm glad somebody knows. I'm glad you noticed. Your food on the way? 
Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten a trim in eight to ten months. Yeah, see. Mm -hmm. Y'all better take care of that hair. I do nails and I want to start a YouTube page. How do I go about it? You create a YouTube account and get to posting. That's really, it's really that simple. <clears throat> yeah. You know, fly by Kai, you be thinking you want this life, but you're going to be tired. I'm your, I'm using um, lock and twist gel. Piana, what's up, Deja? How can I braid faster? I take all day. You got to practice. You really got to practice. How often? You got to ask yourself, how often do you braid? It's just like trying to get good at anything or fast at anything. It's all muscle memory. It's all moving with confidence. <clears throat> you got to practice. When you at home, get you a doll head and start timing yourself. Yeah. I don't see how you take more than three clients a day. After two, I'll be done. Girl, I'll be done too sometimes. I don't know, y'all. Honestly, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I will say one thing about me is like, I'm a really hard worker. You are. Like, I just like... I'm just a really hard worker. Um, it's a good thing sometimes, and sometimes it's a bad thing. Like, I'm just always... I think I like to be busy. Like, I'm just always doing something. When I'm at home, and I'm just, like, sitting on the couch, I'm like, you're being lazy right now. Like, you could be doing something, you know? So that's why I be in here. But it's good to get your rest. I need to find balance in 2022. And that's what I'm going to work on. Because... Mm -mm. I be in here all day. Like, I don't got a whole husband. <laughs> Sitting at home. Mm -mm. Look at me. <laughs> you beautiful. Oh, thanks. You beautiful. Mm -mm. <sighs> this old dance. This dance. I was supposed to take my cousin after Yaya, but I might change my mind. What time is it? It's about to be five. Eight ten. I got something on you? No. I poked you an eye? No, I was watching this last Oh, uh-uh. Her lashes open. Her eye, you mean? Yeah. Mm-mm. Ah! <laughs> she sleep or something? That's heck of weird. When I be seeing videos like that, I be going straight to the comments. <laughs> Me too. Like, I know these comments. <laughs> I know these comments gonna give. Funny. Yeah. I got a little older. Yeah, I got a little older. I love these braids. I'm obsessed. Who saw Alexis Sky Christmas tree? What was it? I already know it was some bullshit. EA is money hang hungry on my head for I'm kind of a Noob, I literally just got Sims. Oh, I used to play Sims every day. You said nothing for the po baby. She didn't get her daughter no gifts. I only buy Sims for packs and stuff when they do half off because it's less money. Panna, will your products be in stores? Um, I am working on getting them in beauty supplies, but right now I'm trying to do um I'm trying to focus more on e-commerce. Just because <clears throat> I feel like a majority of my like support system or my subscribers are not from out here so yeah but i'm working on it she had presents for her and not her daughter how do y'all know though they was wrapped and didn't have i'm confused like how do y'all know 
or were the the gifts unwrapped and she like took a picture of the tree with all the gifts was she the one who had designer everything it probably was can you like sit this way like Mm -hmm. this thank you put your head over It was all Chanel and Birkin bags. I'm hecka done. Who is she dating? Or who does she get these gifts from? Because why does she have hella Birkin bags? Who? Alexis Sky. I feel like, wasn't she? Oh, she was on Love and Hip Hop. Is she getting a bag like that? Because them Birkin bags be expensive. Maybe she moved the the presents for her daughter. <laughs> like, what? Why would you show that? That's crazy. Why can't I see y'all comments? We saw she posted it. What's that braiding gel you're using? I'm using lock and twist gel. Move back to the store, child. Mm, 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 mm. I feel like she has been posted for views and didn't include stuff for her daughter. No, for real. I love your channel. It's very helpful. What type of jam are you using? Um, guys, bef- when this live is over, I'll make sure that I link what I'm using in the description section for you guys. Because I don't want to keep repeating it over and over. But I will make sure I link it for you guys so you can try it out. Because it's bomb.com. It's bomb.com. But, um, yeah, that's crazy. Like, I'm really over the whole, like, people flexing and stuff. I know, I feel like in hip-hop, that's just, like, part of the culture. But it's just, like, it's given, like you're gonna get robbed or something like I wonder if I had like I wonder if I had it if I would do it I probably would actually so I'll take that back because I don't want to be that rich one day and I and y'all be like Penny you said you wasn't gonna show us your 10 Birkin bags (laughs) (laughs) no you know how they be doing that pulling up receipts y'all remember she said in this live that she would never be flexing and now all she do is show her g-wagon y'all not gonna come for me Oh, no, 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 ma'am. Okay, everybody, she's using lock and twist. Yep. Yes, ma'am. I be hecking mean on TikTok, y'all, yeah? No, I be okay. mean on your TikTok. Do you? Yeah, you. Y'all, when I was getting dragged on TikTok that one time about my prices, y'all, y'all was in the comments giving everybody the business. I even called her. I said, y'all, y'all, get off of TikTok. And she was like, no, I don't care. I don't care. I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love her. I said, you do not have to fight them people for me. She was like, no, because they're not going to be talking about you, Bree. They don't even know what they're talking about. <laughs> she was so funny. But they said I'd be different on TikTok, so I'm just asking. I feel like I, I be trying to return the energy I give. If y'all be cool and nice, I'm going to be cool and nice. But <sighs> Panda got the big steppers. I wish I did. I'm definitely wearing some bullshit right now. Ain't Big Stepper shoes? Or what is that? I'm Big Stepper. What is that? I'm Big Five. Yeah. Oh, Fly by Kai, you probably didn't know. Um, A long time ago on TikTok, I had made this. Uh, I made this TikTok where I basically said I charged this girl $700 for her box braids. And so people was hecka mad. I made a whole YouTube video on it. Um, people were people were hecka mad. And then they were trying to come for me, like basically telling me I'm not good at doing hair and stuff. So then I had to clap clap back a little bit. And so it was just about that. But yeah. No, he's saying Yaya is a big stepper. She gonna step for you. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Got you, got you, got you. <laughs> yeah, Yaya, she was ready to go. I said, and she. No, Yaya wasn't backing down. I said, girl, if you don't get off of TikTok, she was like, no. Because they keep saying stuff, so I'm going to keep saying stuff. I said, oh, no. No, Yaya. But I, at least I know she on my back, period. Yaya a real one. <laughs> Yaya a real one. <laughs> I was dying laughing. <laughs> oh, Where is shit. my food at? Oh. I think he's oh he's here right where's my food at about to cuss him out (laughs) (laughs) 
I'll be like that too. As soon as I press submit on DoorDash, I'm like, where my food at? For real. Like, come on, I. Should I call him? Mm-mm. He almost here. No, he's here. <laughs> oh, is he? Yeah. He's just standing outside. <laughs> okay, let me get it. I'm so proud of you. I've been watching you since you was on here in the apartment. Your motivation for sure. Oh, thank you so much. I feel like you follow me on Instagram. Are you the one who be um messaging me on Instagram? I really appreciate it, y'all. Like, it's definitely not not as easy as it seems. And even like there are days when I feel like down about stuff. Like I don't feel like I'm doing as much as I can. So I, when you guys reach out to me, I really appreciate it. Like y'all really be the ones that motivate me. I'm like I know if I don't get on here, they're gonna say something. So. I really appreciate y'all. And then going live with y'all has really made it really fun for me. I feel like I was getting in, in a funk. And then I started going live, and I'm like, y'all are hella fun just to kick it with. All right, let me see. He at the door? Uh, I don't know if he's at the door, but he's at, like, you know. Okay, hold this for me. <laughs> How was it? You asking me? Is he downstairs in the black car? Did you just call me Breezel? Yeah. Like easel? Yeah. I'm happy then. I love how Panna never excessively used product and her braids still they fly. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> what in the wrapping? These look so good. I'm loving these. Um, Who gets a burrito? We gonna switch real quick. Ow! All right, we gonna braid down. This is my product I'm using to braid down. It's knee braid. I'm putting it on a new band. Why is it hot? I'm a bad. I'm sorry. <sighs> All right. While she's handling her business, y'all, we are going to braid her down. I get flowers when you can truly receive them. Oh, thank you. Wait, I didn't see what you said. Was that, is that you who um, be DMing me on Instagram? I'm, I'm only asking because I feel like it looks like the same um, profile picture. These products you can't, I'm, I'm not sure if this was a question, but these products you can't get in the beauty supply, but you can get them on Amazon. And I'll make sure at the end of this live, um, I'll link them for you guys where you can purchase it. Can I screenshot the hair product? Yeah. This is, I'm only using this for my braid down. Three, two, and one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
so yeah i'm looking at the screen so if y'all want to talk to me or y'all want to ask me any questions now's the time because i'm gonna read every comment at this point i try to braid my braids down to as small as i can i feel like it makes it look neater so yeah you feeling better yeah you gonna be lit now mm-hmm. you don't like need neat braid to braid with anymore um i will use it <coughs> excuse me I hate when I cough with a mask on. Um, I will use it to do like stitch braids, but I feel like for my knotless box braids, not anymore because it's not super thick. And I just felt like it was kind of doing the same thing that um, Shining Gem would do, like make my client's hair revert depending on their texture. So I like to use the lock and twist gel because it's a lot thicker. And I noticed that like my knotless just looks so much more neat at the root using it. So yeah. My local beauty supply sells lock and twist, but it's more than what they sell it for online. Okay. We, my beauty supply sells lock in, which is different than lock and twist. So if you're talking about like lock in, that's a different product. But if you're actually talking about lock and twist, the green one, then that's interesting. I've never seen it in a beauty supply, at least out here. Yeah. You said, are y'all accidentally clicked out? Hopefully I didn't mess up the video. Somebody said you were here an hour ago. I switched the band because I'm braiding down and I use two different products for the root and my braid down. You're welcome. I can't remember the exact site I use generally. Whoever has a sale at the time. She starts overhand to start the braid, then she switches. What does what look like? I'm sorry. I haven't seen you use lock-in in a while either. I don't because it's more expensive. So the reason why I switch, okay, <laughs> y'all know, I'll be switching up products a lot, but um, I do, I like lock-in, okay? I like lock-in and I would use it to braid with, but lock-in is $25, right? At the beauty supply. And, um, and um, online, I think it's like $30 cause you have to pay for shipping. Lock and twist, I have a vendor for. So I get it for cheaper than what it is online. So of course, like I'm gonna choose this over lock in because it saves me money, right? So that's literally why I switch. But but lock in, um I would still use it as like a backup, like I still have it, but yeah. How many heads do you get from one one jar? Well, okay, so I've started doing this thing, y'all, where I use different products to braid down because um, one jar I lock in. Okay, let me tell you. So, so basically, when I think when I find a product to do knotless with, I'm like using it for the root, right? Because you can literally braid down with anything. So I started only using my expensive products like my lock in, my lock and twist, only for the root, and then I use a different product to braid down. So literally, once I get past my client's hair, I don't use it no more. And the reason why is because number one, it stretches your product a lot longer, and like I said. I can really braid down with any product. I can use Shining Gem. I can use anything cheap. I just like to braid down with product because I feel like it's better on my fingers and it makes my braid neater, like takes away some of those flyaways. So with my lock and twist, I can get about five to six heads out of it just because I'm only really using it at the scalp. Um, yeah. It's 326 pan it's on. Y'all hella funny. Yeah, we moving pretty quick with these braids, I think. It's only been almost two hours, and we almost at the top, so we're not doing too bad. I tried braiding my own hair, did three braids, and took it out. Girl, why have I done that before? <laughs> and then it'd be looking good, too. And then, But, like, when you do that third braid, I know you was like, bitch, you was not finna sit here and do all of these braids. But yeah, that's um that's one way that you guys can help save product or you can try braiding down without product at all. But um yeah. But trying to um, you know, the products that I use are expensive. They're all like $20 and up, so I just feel like I'm only going to use it when necessary and that's really only necessary at the root. Now, I'm going to braid down with whatever I got. How do I grow my hair? I feel like it's not growing with braids. Well, first of all, growing your hair starts with your scalp, right? So you want to make sure that you have a nice, healthy scalp, that you're cleansing it in between your braids or maybe even when you have your braids in. And then just making sure you're doing maintenance. 
Like some people in between, like you might get your hair braided, take it down, just get it done again. You still need to be getting trims, um, making sure it's healthy, making sure there's not too much tension with your styles, all that good stuff. Panna, I want you to channel your inner bad bit more come 2022. I love when you did up and of course you're naturally that girl. Thank you. I'm really going to try to. My thing, y'all, is, is in 2021, I really, like, experienced this more, but I have really poor time management. Like, I would have clients in here back to back to back to back, getting home at 2, 3 in the morning. So, it's not that, like, I lost myself or I didn't want to, like, be cute or take pictures. It's like, I just really felt like I didn't have the time. And then when I did have a day off, I'm just so exhausted from, like, all the stuff I did during the week that... It's like, why would I put on makeup and take pictures when I could, like, literally lay on the couch all day, you know? And my husband is really, like, you're so beautiful when I'm, like, natural. Like, I don't feel like I have to, you know, be all done up. So that didn't really help either. But I'm really going to work on my time management and really, like, you know, tap into my, like, inner. Because, y'all, when I throw my makeup on, it's, I'm looking like that one. It's just, yeah, exactly. I need more you, more me days, like, just to focus on myself and, you know. Because when I put on makeup, I actually really feel... I, I don't feel like I need makeup. Obviously, I'm always on here without it. But when I put on my makeup, I really be feeling like a baddie. And I like that feeling. It's just... I be picking and choosing because it's like, man, you know. But I'm going to tap into it for sure. I got y'all, okay? Hold me to it. Be like, Panna, uh-uh. Why you on live at 2 and 3 in the morning? I'm located in um, California, the Bay Area. But yeah, my time management. And y'all, honestly, it's just me not saying... It's just me not being able to say no to people. So, you said I saw your eyebrow tutorial. Are you going to update it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, when I first... Sure. Like, it's yeah. heck of old because... At one point, I wanted to try to do hair and makeup, but that died out real quick. <laughs> but um, I'll for sure update it because that's hella old. I could do my makeup pretty good. It's just, yeah. Thank you. I actually need a fill right now. My Look at how thin they are. Uh-uh. I need a fill. Yeah, boundaries are important, which is why I'm going to focus on setting them. You know how, like, you... Okay, you could probably relate to this too, yeah, yeah. You know how you, like, do something and you know you shouldn't be doing it, but you're not, like, at your breaking point? Yeah. So, it's like you keep allowing it. Like, this year, I feel like I really reached my breaking point. It was to the point where, like, I was getting into it with family, like, over hair appointments, you know? And I really feel like, like, some days I would sit down and be like, why am I stressing myself over giving somebody a hair appointment? Like, this is not an emergency, you know? So... Um, it really just got like really this year I really have reached my breaking point of feeling like I feel like I do a lot of favors and people don't look at it as favors it's more like well you do hair so like this is what you do but it's like no bitch like I literally have been working like 14 16 hour days and like maybe you don't know that but like I'm actually doing you a favor right now so I don't like the the thing on my end is like I can't expect everybody to know that like everybody is not in my life or in the salon with me or they don't know that so maybe they don't understand that I'm doing them a favor but it's like I am so I just gotta set set boundaries for myself and some people are like hella appreciative but some people just feel so entitled to my time like they'll be like you need to be about your money like what the bitch what the fuck like I don't need to be doing this. Are you planning to put more content on YouTube in 2022? I love to watch your videos while I do homework. Yes. I'm actually going to try to to stick to daily uploads for as long as I can. Or at least like every other day. So yeah. Oh, I'm taking a week off. Believe it, baby. After the 27th into the new year, I definitely am. I feel like Lock and Twist, Lock Gel, and Neat Braid are the same product. Just different jars and different holds. Um, I know, I definitely know what you mean by that. They do feel very similar. Um, so I would have to agree with that. They are very, very close. Some people are really rude and inconsiderate when it comes to hair. No, for real. Panda, don't schedule seven days a week either. Try getting at least one day off a week. I'm definitely, all of this stuff, y'all, trust me, I am on it. I'm definitely on it. I feel like this year, I really 
like I reached my breaking point. You done, Yaya? Mm-mm. No? Okay. I'm not rushing you. I'm just asking. I was watching a braiding tutorial. You want to learn how to braid? Or well, you just like, is it braid, satisfying? But I don't know how to braid my own hair, you know? Mm. I don't know. I can do other people's hair well, but I can't do mine's, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't understand how, like, people can braid behind their hair. How did you get so comfortable with YouTube? Well, first off, I'm a performer. Like, I grew up literally performing. Like, I was a cheerleader. I played a lot of sports. I just did, like, I did performing arts. So, I feel like I've always naturally been a good um, speaker in front of, like, you know, crowds. If I was prepared, obviously, like, I was not really... Like, obviously, I get nervous, but, like, I wasn't really shy. And then I think with YouTube, like, I knew that whatever I was teaching, I kind of knew what I was doing, or at least I thought I did. Like, now I look back, like, girl, what the hell was that? But um, I feel like over time, like, I just, like, I'm really one of those people, like, I'm a fake it till I make it, naturally a confident type of person. So I think that helped a lot. And then, obviously, being a performer, that kind of helped a lot. With live videos, I feel like the thing that has really helped me is, like, I'm really truly being myself. So, I feel like it's hella easy because I just come on here and be myself. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. It would be different if I was, like, acting or being a character or something. But it's, like, I'm just on here. Like, this is how I talk to my friends. I feel like this is how I talk to Yaya and them. So, I'm not really... Like, there's really nothing to be nervous about. It's just we having a conversation, you know? So, I don't really feel like, like, obviously, like, I don't really feel like I act different in real life. But, obviously, like, sometimes when I'm on YouTube, I'm a little more lit because it's like we having fun. But as far as outside of that, I mean. I don't feel like you switch up or you act like. I don't. Like, I really, yeah. Like, even at heat, I feel like I act the same way with y'all. You know, it's just... I mean, obviously, I'm a little more serious because I'm teaching, but... But you have the same vibe. Like, it's not, like, something different. Like, yeah, exactly. The only time my mood will change is, like, if my energy is off with, like, a client or if, like, somebody says something rude and I gotta, like, pop off real quick, but... um, But, obviously, the more you do something, the more you get confident with it. So, if you're new to YouTube, a lot of people are, like, nervous to speak like just practice when I when I first used to do voiceovers sometimes I would like visualize the video in my head and practice what I'm gonna say that'll make it easier and um you just got to get over over your fear do you still use drugstore products for makeup girl yes very much so <laughs> like very much so so if y'all want to see some tutorials I'll be making it work though but I have switched some of my stuff to like Morphe I like them but Y'all, when it comes to makeup, I really, like, I feel like it be looking good, but I don't know how. Like, I just be, di like, doing, if y'all see my makeup routine, you would be like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> makeup brushes be dirty sometimes. Like, it's just not right. It's not right. Sometimes I be using my finger. Like, it's just not right. But it be looking good, though. But if y'all think that would be interesting, I can show y'all because I really still do use um, drugstore stuff. You said drugstore gets the the job done. Makeup is makeup. It's all about the hands. No, that's true. That's true. Sometimes I will use stuff that's not drugstore. Like when I switched my foundation, because I was using um, Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And when I switched to Morphe, I was like, okay, I definitely see a difference. But some stuff, that drugstore works just right. Yeah. Trust me, I won't wet. You say, I'm subscribed. That's what's up. Your time and your skill, your clients are paying for what they get because of what you do. <sighs> Rhonda, what you talking about? Did somebody ask how much people charge or something? Uh-uh, y'all, y'all. I just got hungry. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love Fit Me Foundation. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes I would feel like it wasn't as much coverage as I wanted. Fenty I was using the, the Dewey one. Fenty. I've never used Fenty foundation. I've only used the Trophy Wife. Oh, uh, you should use it. It's really good. <laughs> nah, I'd I be fiending for you to post. Thing of it. Like, I just did a Sephora. I mean, I got her concealer, her setting, 
product because I used like three of her products and then it was just like really good. So I started. You just started, started building products. stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. You don't wear a lot of makeup though, do you? Not a lot, but I do wear makeup. Okay. But not like right now, like. Pen I can braid with weave. Ooh, ooh, with weave, and I've been braiding since a kid. It's in the way because I'm a great braider and I'm missing out on hella money. Girl, you just got to keep practicing. And, like, remember that this is one thing I had to realize is, okay, so I'll teach how to do it a certain way. You might watch somebody else and they'll teach you how to do a certain way. And then you might watch somebody else. Like, there, you need to do what way works for you. Like, don't be like, oh, well, Pan is a great braider and she doesn't braid like this. So I got to, like, you know, you got to find what really works for you. And sometimes that takes a while for me, stitch braiding. It really took me so long to learn it. Like, when I say long, I mean over a year to perfect it. So, don't get discouraged. You just have to find a way that works for you. Girl, I don't, I don't care if you got to sit there and figure out and invent your own way. Like, sometimes I see people and they'll be doing knotless or regular box braids. And I'm like, how the hell? Like, who would use that method? But if it works for them, it works for them. Yeah. Thank you for your content. Oh, you're welcome. Is it Rakinia? That's actually a really pretty name. I don't know if you answered this already, but what's the shortest length of hair you have ever done? Is there a thing? It's too short. Um, The shortest I've done is probably like when I did those box braids. This actually on my channel. <clears throat> her, she had like a little, tw a little TWA. And it was probably, I didn't measure it, but it was probably like an inch to half an inch. And... I think when you say, like, is there a too short, I think at some point, like, the tension is not healthy. Like, I would just definitely recommend them waiting because when you braid hair that is really short like that, half them braids is going to fall out anyway. So, it's kind of like you're wasting your time. It's hard on your hands and it's very painful. <laughs> so, um, there's definitely methods to braid short, short hair, like doing starter braids and all of this and that. But I feel like at the end of the day, like... Why go through that when you can just wait a couple extra months, you know? Penna, do you have another job outside of hair? Um, I coach. Like, I coach Yaya. I teach tumbling, but I wouldn't really consider that a job because I do it one day out the week. And, like, even though I do get paid for it, it's more like I'm just there because, like, I love the kids type of thing. Like, it's not really, like, it's not nothing significant. I feel like I'm cheating on you if I watch somebody else. Oh, no, don't do that. Because <laughs> there's things that you can probably learn from other people that you might not, you know, you might not learn from me. And there's a lot of great braiders on YouTube now. I feel like when I started YouTube, there was not that many. But now YouTube is flooded. And you might learn something from someone else that you don't get on my channel. And I don't, I'm like, have no shade towards any other YouTube braiders, like... Sometimes I might watch watch people and be like, oh, okay, like, she does this or she does that. But I appreciate the loyalty, though, okay? You must be a Scorpio. You're very, very talented, and I love your videos. Stay strong. Thank you, Marta. Okay, so what y'all want to see in 2022? I was thinking about taking up a new, a new um, skill, like doing makeup or doing wigs. And then I was like, maybe I should just do more lives maybe i should just do more fun videos like braiding hair using all things in the kitchen like just random shit like that you know i'm like i don't i don't know which vibe i have how many more days we got for this year we got five more days so i have five days to figure it out that's true i only watch you in duchess braids yeah duchess braids is really good i watch her too <clears throat> do wigs and makeup girl everything more lives okay did you start your youtube channel memberships i did but i ended up canceling it because i felt like i wasn't giving 110 percent to it i love you andre do some videos with him okay maybe i'll have to um maybe we'll have to start a channel that's the loyalty of a cancer toya don't try to do that <laughs> don't do that yes i love some of my braiders that I love to watch, y'all. I watch Duchess Braids. I recently started watching her. Her her um she she does really like neat work. I think I saw her on Facebook before I saw her on YouTube. So I like to watch her. 
I like to watch <clears throat> Deeper Than Hair TV. I feel like if you ain't, if you love hair, she's not even a braider. But if you love hair and you don't watch Deeper Than Hair TV, girl, what are you doing? I love to watch Braids by Shania. She recently has started posting again and her stitch braids go crazy. So you guys can watch her videos and get, um, and get, uh, what's it called? <laughs> like free game from her. Not somebody said, are you a colorist? Those vids, those videos would be nice. When I read that, I read that the wrong way. I said, now, why the F would you ask me if I'm a colorist? <laughs> if I'm a hair colorist, yes. I wouldn't consider myself a colorist, but I do experiment with color a lot. Um, so I can definitely do more of those videos. That will definitely be a learning process because, oof, I'd be nervous about coloring people's hair. But I can definitely bring you guys more coloring videos. I had took a break from doing color for a little bit because, y'all... It'd be giving me anxiety sometimes. I'd be so nervous coloring hair. But y'all can learn with me. The longest length I've, of hair I braided was probably knee length. I had to make sure I was saying it right before I even said it. Right. Not are you a colorist, Panna. That's hella funny. I know what you meant, though, when I read the second part. I said, oh. Please do a Black History Month challenge. Maybe a video a day featuring a style from a different African country left from South Africa. That would be interesting. I feel like I would have to start now because I don't want to uh, offend anyone by being like not educated on that. Because that would definitely be something new. But if y'all want me to run it up for Black History Month, last year I tried to do um, like free promo for Black owned hair companies. Which I really like doing that some of the products I was getting I'm like come on like um but I can maybe do a series of that like the free promo and like just some really like cultural type styles I think that would be really cool I forgot Black History Month was coming up yeah I'm gonna get that I'm gonna plan ahead of time and get that content ready and ugh, Toya helped me plan out um Dope Simber and I felt so bad because I kind of strayed off a little bit but we I also like wasn't even ready for her to come over until literally like the day before so maybe if I can help if she can help me and we can get together before February like at the beginning of January I can definitely make some cool stuff happen with that use a different black product each day that'd be cool too a lot of the stuff I use right now is actually black owned which is really cool but I can do reviews on stuff I can do I feel like there's a lot I can do with Black History Month Yeah. Do y'all still like to see recorded videos or y'all just like the lives are just so much better? I ain't gonna cap like when I my YouTubers I've been watching, when they videos be like ten or eight minutes, it's like like what are you doing? You be feeling like that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was watching a vlog the other day and I'm like, twelve minutes. Like what am I supposed to do after I'm done watching this? It's pissing me off. Ooh, college story times. Oh, my God. Actually, y'all would literally be like, Panna, get your, li get your life together. Lives are much better. We get to talk to you. Okay, wait. <laughs> I got so many college stories. So how would I tell my stories? Like, should I do it while I'm, like, doing my hair? Or should I just, like, do, do a full-on story time? You should do both. Like, do my hair and makeup while I'm telling the story? Yeah. And it could be, like, cute, quick, natural styles or something like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get the story times popping. I got a couple on my channel. Okay, I'm going to have to check you out. Let me screenshot. Um. No, y'all, literally, <laughs> when I tell y'all, I was actually insane in college. Like, I even have, like... I'm gonna have to change some of the names in these stories because some of these stories involve Dre and he might uh he might start reminiscing and leave me because yeah I was so time? crazy um probably what time is it right now three forty six three forty six for let's say five thirty that's how long yeah yeah what time do you need to be it's three forty six. 4.30? You got it. You think I could do it? Yeah. Okay. I got to get in my zone. 3.46. What is that? That's one hour? Yeah. All right. Let's go. 
Why you doing this to me, Yaya? Because I was supposed to be. I forgot about the film thingy. That's supposed to be. Oh my at God. Four. And my auntie said that Jenny will be. Okay. Oh my God, Yaya. Actually, no. This is only. Okay, I can do this. Don't panic. No, I'm not panicking. But that's not a lot of time, bro. Oh no. Actually, I could have did it if they weren't like, but they're long, you know. I could have did it. But I actually I just braided most of them down, so I think we're good. Okay, let me just tap in. Let me just tap in. Let me just tap in. All right, let me just tap in. Y'all think I got it? Drop red hearts if y'all think I got it. That's one hour. I'm about to really get in my zone. In my bag. Not an hour. A challenge. Not a challenge. Alright. I gotta get focused. You need some music? Mm -mm. We can't listen to music. Hmm? We can't listen to music. I just oh, need to listen. Right. I need to just listen to my thoughts. Nah, you can talk to me. <laughs> Yes, drop the red hearts. How kind. Yeah, yeah, hella happy. She like, yeah, because you don't got no choices. <laughs> yeah, I'm done, I guess. I'm tired. Come tell my cousin come tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Monday? Mm -hmm. Dang. Oh, it's not no school, right? Yeah. Dang, my cousin got to work. Does that hurt? Mm -mm. Foot off my tray. <laughs> Okay, tell me when it's four o'clock, okay? I got you. Cause that means I really gotta go in turbo speed. Cause thirty minutes? Oh no, man. What time is the practice from? Six thirty. Is it until six thirty? Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's cool. So you'll still have like an hour. Yeah, Toya, you're going to have to let them know because they're going to be like, why is she not talking to us? Uh-uh, I only got one hour. Literally. I for sure can't read no comments. Here, I'll read them. Oh, yeah, you can read them. This could be a challenge. See how fast I could do uh, some dotless box braids in, huh? Mm-hmm. Like a full, if I did like a full head. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's read the comments. Why oh, you only got one hour? Because <laughs> I got somewhere to go. What's that? 
Miami. <laughs> the Rippy. <laughs> It just sounds so aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Do you think an hour is a lot of time to do this? It's not, sis. <laughs> it did sound hella aggressive, though. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> but it's really not. It just be sounded like that. I want more Drake voiceovers. Those are hilarious. That's hecka funny. But y'all want to know what's funny about that is, like, back then, Dre really didn't know what I was doing. But I feel like now he kind of knows, like, how to do, like, what I'm doing. So. She's like a hunter in the wild going after an animal. <laughs> oh. mm-hmm. Mm-mm. There's hair on me. Mm-hmm. What about the videos of you doing your client's hair but the voice over of you telling the story? Oh, that'd be kind of cool. It'll make it more interesting. So you could, like, watch me, like, Brayden, but I'm, like, telling a crazy-ass story. Yeah. But it don't have to do with the client, right? Yeah. There's somebody who does that on TikTok. I could do that. So what happens if she doesn't finish? Uh, she gonna finish. She got it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we'll tackle that when we get there. Look, there's no consequences right now. Except for y'all yeah, gonna be like, hurry up. Mimi uh, said, I love you. I watch your videos 24 7. Aw, thank you. I appreciate you. That's not gonna make me go faster, trust me. It's not. I gotta get these attached and then I could braid down fast, but it's just the. You're well known in Ann Arbor, Michigan area. Really? Y'all, honestly. <laughs> so, like, my little cousins came over yesterday and it was like, they were basically telling me, like, something, something, something. Yeah, like, you acting funny because you're famous. And I was thinking, like, in my head, like, what? Like, I'm hella not even famous. I don't feel like... I feel like nobody knows me. Especially out here. What? People know you. Maybe they just don't say nothing. Yeah. Like, you know? I'm not like a... I guess I'm not like a celebrity, like, you would be taking a picture with or nothing. So maybe they I just don't. I hair is more recognizable than your, like, face. Because I'll be wearing them two buns. Two pom-poms. Mm. Yeah. Have you ever had a client you'll never do your, to never do their hair again? Yes. Multiple. Yes. I yes. feel like some clients are just like, ugh. Like, yeah. I definitely have that 1,000%. Is it cold in Cali? How cold? It is cold. I don't know how cold, though. It'd be, it's raining a lot right now. It was yeah. last night. It's like 47. Which, some people, they probably not think, may, they probably won't think that's cold. Because, you know, they'd be like, on the East Coast. But, 40 degrees? They said you know pretty. Interesting. Maybe I just need to go to like, some hair shows in different places. Because out here... Out here, I'll be forgetting that I even do YouTube until, like, somebody says something. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, I really be like that. Or I'll be lying to heck of people. Like, they'd be like, do you have a YouTube channel? And I'd be like, no. <laughs> be telling them I got a twin sister. You told me. I told Yaya that. Do you believe me, didn't you? Yeah, I believed you for, like, a month. <laughs> when I first met Yaya, I think she asked me. She was like, wait, do you have a YouTube channel? And I told her, I was like, oh, I have a sister. Yeah, y'all, y'all believe me, but that's because you didn't really know me. Then you got to know me, and you was like, oh, yeah, that's definitely her. Yeah. 
It definitely an influence. So you're the reason I brought a mannequin head and decided to learn how to braid. Oh, period. Yeah, I I do. I guess I do consider myself an influencer. Yeah. I'm definitely about to run it up though for uh for next year. I'm gonna really be on my influencer shit. Why do we be waiting for the new year to like do stuff? Mm-hmm. Do you ever be thinking about that? Yeah. Or sometimes if I want to change something, I'll be like, all right, next Monday, I'm going to start. Yeah, it. I do next week. You be doing that? Or next week, I'm going to do this. <laughs> like, I'm going to work out. I'm going to start working out. I'm going to start working out on Monday. And then Monday coming, you'd be mm-hmm. like, I might as well just wait till next Monday. You're right. Yeah, I'd be Maybe doing because that. you are flying through these braids. See, I told you she got it. Girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, why are you gonna do my whole head like this, huh? Yep, I was just saying that. <laughs> you was thinking out your head. I was like, dang, she going fast like that. Okay, <laughs> sis, if I did your whole head like this, you would be like, why are you rushing on my braids? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> really? I wouldn't be laughing. <laughs> if somebody did my hair and they was moving like this, I would be like, bitch. Oh, dang, you I'm gotta not get more you hair. Again. Yeah. Is it four o'clock yet? 50, 59. 59, okay. Uh-uh, yeah, yeah. There's no way. Yes, there is. You gotta believe. <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah, you said we gotta work on not procrastinating. <laughs> no, for real. That's crazy. Michigan? I would have never thought Michigan. I feel like, what's in Michigan? I'm trying to think. I have never, oh, Detroit, yes. I've never been, uh, yeah, I've never been. I was like, what is that noise? That's useless. Yeah. to get arthritis that's okay <laughs> not that's okay not that's okay not that's okay I'm not done that's fine just finish just make one jumbo braid absolutely not I'm gonna get arthritis for reals tendonitis in my shoulder yeah I do have somewhere to go why are you typing in the chat like you can't just say it? <laughs> because can they even hear me? Yeah, they can. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Is it 403? It's 401. 401? Okay, I gave myself till 403 to prep. <sighs> yeah, yeah. This is a challenge. <laughs> what if this whole time she was lying, y'all, and she didn't have to be nowhere? She just was tired of sitting. And no, I do. <laughs> she was just. Because I feel bad for Taja, because I didn't even come to the last rehearsal. Kick you out. Exactly. I don't want to be kicked out. I mean, to be honest, I don't know what to do. I know what you mean, though. You're a reliable person. That's good. My money on Panda. In a speed break con- 
contest. You see, this is good practice. <laughs> I would never do a speed break contest. That just sounds like arthritis. It'd be burning my shoulders. <laughs> like moving hecka fast, you know? No, but I have thought of doing like hair competitions cause like the amount of shit like that I could be able to do because I could braid hella fast. Like, I feel like it would be impressive. Because yeah. they'll probably start, see me start some intricate braids down and be like, what the hell? Like, there ain't no way. And then I gas it, and it's like, oh, shit. You know? Yeah. It's very pretty fast. So that's good. Looks right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-mm. You got it. Mm-mm. You did it. So amazing. Oh, fuck. Look straight. Like, look in the mirror. middle part holding me back okay not a middle part holding me back oh my god not a middle part holding me back y'all You want a side part? Mm-mm. <sighs> <laughs> See, they're cheering for you. They believe in you. You know who my perfect teammate would be right now? Your it's assistant? Wife Snatcher. Oh. No, Wife Snatcher. I've never seen your assistant before. My cousin. Dang. It's like it's in fast motion. Yeah, yeah, like, what? You wait heck of fast. Now every time she comes to her appointment, she's gonna be like, I have somewhere to be <laughs> in one and a half hours. <laughs> you ain't slick, bro. <laughs> Have you tried my edge control? No. You wanna give me a free thing? Uh, I don't have no. <laughs> no, I really don't. I'm out of stock. No, I, I, I know you are. I've seen on your story. But you got a lot of orders. But it's coming any day now. It was supposed to come yesterday, but it was delayed, so we'll see. When I get one, though, depending on how much I love you. 
They say, oh, that's not happening. <laughs> Don't do that. I need y'all to hide me right now. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is physically impossible. Even the world, who's the world's fastest braider? You. Oh my God, I should do a Guinness Book of World Records. Who fucking with me? You're the world's fastest braider, Brie. You I have to be. This. Who is faster than, oh my God. We need to look at the Guinness Book of World Records. Look how fast you are. Guinness Book of World Records. That needs to be happening in 2022. Looks like you're in fast motion. I got time for that. No, for real. Guinness book. Someone called you panda. <laughs> they always call me that. Let me trip. Mm -hmm. See, I knew you could do it. I can't though, Yaya. I'm just really. It's this is a struggle right now. You can't. Don't say you can't. You can. Mm -mm. Never say never. There's a spider on the wall. On the wall? They gotta be lying. They lying. They just want me to stop. You tried it, sisters and brethren. There's a spider on the wall. What the hell? Liar. Don't do that when you know I'm under pressure. Don't do that. Should I go get leftover Christmas food? Or should yeah. I get my pizza? The, well, if you you deserve a treat, so pizza. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't know this was hidden under here. Yaya! Yeah, yeah. What did Yaya do? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> oh, those two braids. Mm -hmm. They were hidden. <laughs> I already forgot about them. <laughs> Is it 415? 410. 410? Oh, my part. This is good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks so good. Somebody gave you $20 for my pizza. Oh, my God. Thank you. Who is that? Toya. Toya, Toya won an appointment. 
Toya, you could come in two days. What's that? Oh, shit. I'm going to be out of town. <laughs> oh, my God, Toya. I love you, Toya. You are such a sweet person. You like Summer Walker? Mm-hmm. I love her. Really? Yeah. Is it crazy watching it? Yeah, I like watching it. <laughs> yeah, why do I feel like you messing with me and this is some sick game? I'm not, I swear. I is this a prank? They said prank panda and act like you gotta go? <laughs> no. Because Taja actually got practice. I have rehearsal at four. Oh my god. <sighs> Nobody books box first of all, these are not lists. Post, she said, why is she book box braids in all caps so close to when she needed to leave? <laughs> she didn't book it, and we were running behind. So it's not 100% her fault. Yeah, I'm sure, yeah. I, yeah, I'm a dancer, but I'm doing something, like, extra for dance. Mm-hmm. I wish I could do my own hair that fast. Yeah, she's so good, guys. The fastest braider in the world. No, there probably is. I'm sure there's an African out there somewhere. <laughs> Why? Oh, my head. head. Because they braid hella fast. They do. Braid and hella really neat. Fast. Like, I feel like that's a known fact. Okay, hold it right here. Thank you. I mean, when I think of fast braiders, that's who I be thinking about. Or maybe, are they fast or do they just have hella people doing it? Or both? They do be having, it's both. Mm-hmm. 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 Got to look at attention. It's 415. No. 415, okay. I really am moving as fast as I can, okay? I'm proud. She did better. Did you do wrong? Why are you playing? Okay, I got nine more braids, y'all, and then I got a braid down. She did good. I wish this was like TikTok and we could listen to music. Yeah. But we can't. That's the only thing I'd be liking about TikTok live. Like they don't be tripping off of what you do. You be actually watching people on TikTok live? Yeah. Heck of people be going live, huh? Yeah. I'll be watching it. Mm-hmm. 
Does this hurt more? I don't know. Really? You know what this makes me want to do? What? Speed challenges on my channel. Yeah, those are the, that would be good. I feel like the thing, though, I would have to do them live because people wouldn't believe it. Would you? Yeah. Actually, you would, but that's because you know me. Like, the average person would be like, there's no way she did that. Like, you know? Yeah. If it's something ridiculous.
Hey y'all. Hey y'all can't talk, I'm nervous. <laughs> I can see y'all comments though. What's the purpose of breaking down after the fact? Somebody help me please. Um, Some people move faster. I don't know, for me sometimes it's faster because I'm installing the braids. But I really do it because I'm used to having an assistant and my assistant breaks down, but she not here, clearly. But it do be annoying. Or sometimes, like, sometimes I like to sit down and braid, so it helps with that, too. Times you got to be 4.30. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You got plenty of time. No, I don't, ma'am. She said 4.30. I have five minutes. Mm -hmm. Is Panda trying to finish by a certain time? Yes, I am. <laughs> uh uh, we don't got time for that. I'm sorry. Go to sleep. Y'all, she's in here trying to sleep. <laughs> you can sleep, but fall with sleep with your head down, not back. There you go, like that. I'm going for the Guinness Book of World Records after this. I have faith in myself. Well, we didn't meet our time goal, y'all, but I will be done in about 20 minutes. 15. <laughs> y'all, y'all really hell asleep. How are you going to challenge me and then take a nap? <laughs> Yeah, I've been singing um, Bitter by Summer Walker this whole time. It's 26 cornrows in 15 minutes for the record. What? 26 cornrows? They probably wasn't using no. Okay, I'm going to have to beat that. What do I have to do? Call up the Guinness Book and tell them I want to challenge a record? 26 cornrows in 15 minutes. 15 minutes, 26 cornrows. I feel like I could beat that. I feel like I could beat that. No, that's probably hella fast. 15 minutes. That means I got less than a minute per cornrow. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, yeah, call them and send them an email. Okay. I think in this website you can send an application to break a record. Okay, interesting. Oh my God, if I ended up in the Guinness Book of World Records, I might actually feel successful. That's crazy. But that's probably hella hard to beat. I'm assuming that, like, it probably sounds hella easy, but realistically, whoever set the record is probably laughing. She's probably in this live, like, ha. <laughs> Now that I think of it, well, they're not feeding braids. That's what, like, might make it easier. 26 cornrows, like, do you have to braid it all the way down to the end? You said, well, it was in 2011? Dang. Not y'all actually looking at records for Panda to beat. Interesting. Alright, first. That's alright? Mm -hmm. Okay. What'd she say? She said she's 10 minutes. 10 minutes away? Yep. Alright. Y'all, her ride is 10 minutes away. Means I got 10 minutes. I gotta pee. I gotta suck it in. That's what? Right. I gotta hold it. <laughs> you gotta suck it. <laughs> you know how you like stop thinking about it and suck it in and then it goes away? Yeah. Like I gotta do that. It's definitely not time for peeing. <sighs> oh my god. <sighs> Let's see what's going on in the live. Mm -hmm. 
You had it paused. Mm -hmm. That's why you behind. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Alright, all I gotta do is write down, y'all. Let me turn my kettle on. <sighs> This hair stuck all to me, bro. Like what? No. Okay, I can't believe you're doing this to me. You ever y'all ever tried to brace so fast that your jaw start chattering? <laughs> Why are you so quiet? I just woke up. Nah, I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> it's the wording. You gotta restart your life, your day. Yeah. Nah, I just woke up. You hack stupid. <laughs> working. Say, you don't have to reply to everybody. Everybody, you just listen to art. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> do you be doing that a lot? Yeah, I you do. Used to be like, Sometimes I'll be f- typing on full on, like, you know, paragraphs and, like, then I'll be, like, thinking. Yeah, but I've been on YouTube for a long time, so I feel like I'm used to, like, you know. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. My water overflowed. It always does that though. Y'all, do y'all kettle be overflowing? No. I have kettle overflow. You don't even do hair, so how you gonna answer? <laughs> Talk about no. I am paying eight hundred dollars. All her Christmas monies. Is it? 39. 39? Okay. <sighs> Technically, it wouldn't have made a difference because your ride ain't even here. I did. What did you tell me that? Earlier today when we were talking about it. Like this morning? Yeah, you was like, I got a text to your back. Mm. You know I got a bad memory. Mm. Shit. Uh-uh. I'm getting arthritis. <laughs> Not that's okay. This is my last head ever. SJ reactions is shouted out. This is my last break. <sighs> now nah, I really am retiring. Talk about where she going. You know I'm nosy. I'm happy. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> I told you to do the whole thing. He was like, no, it goes faster. It does, though. It does. Oh, my God. My hands hurt. <laughs> that last braid gonna hit different, different. Yes, I'm 15. Yes, I'm in the 11th grade. I'm a smarty pants. You know how to break? So. You know how to break? Yeah. You get to breaking down. Um. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. No, stop. Because the way you just even touched that, I can already tell. It wasn't going to get what it needed to. <laughs> What do I need to lie? I'm not 16. I turned 16 in January. What do I need to lie for? Yeah, she's not lying. I can vouch for her. She's a young man. We just had a whole conversation about that. I didn't skip a grade, though. I went to school early. Went to school when I was four, but... You like that, though? Hmm? See? I'm not going to prom though. What do you say? You like that? Like what? Being like, young? Mm-hmm. I guess it's cool or whatever. It's not annoying. What day in January? January 30th?
I'm not going to prom. I was kidding. <laughs> Did she text you and ask you where you was at? No, not yet. I didn't skip a grade. Literally, there's no prom in December. Isn't prom like May? Yeah, in April. Wow. I graduated high school at 16, graduated college at 20, finishing my second master's at 24. Wow. That's what's up. That's amazing. That's bomb. That's some dedication. Your second master's, my man. That's awesome. True dedication. What are you studying is the question. That's a real question. And congratulations. That's crazy. Over here. Well, this is better than five thirty, like I said, right? Mm -mm. I was 18 when I started college. I'm gonna be 17. You're gonna be 17? Mm -hmm. That's only, like, I feel like in middle school, like, it might be kind of cool, but, like, when you get to college, that's hella lame because you can't get into none of the clubs. Yeah. But I guess, like, you finish faster and stuff. That's kind of cool, but. Mm -mm. Cause I hated when my friends were 21 and I couldn't get into the 21 and upside. That was literally torture. I used to sneak over, but most of the time I got caught. Mm 
Yeah, I can't feel my hands. They're numb at this point. Answer because when I didn't tell you how I what? Sorry, I, I gotta pull my mask down for like five minutes. I can't breathe. I do not care. <laughs> it's fine. I'm literally sweating. No, you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not. Thank you. You got those for Christmas? No. Mm -hmm. I got these in the summer. <laughs> sorry I had energy I had to get out I had to get it out I'm sorry I'm sorry <laughs> you don't ever get like a burst of energy you just gotta get it out sorry I had to get it out it was like stuck in my body and I like I um, just had to get it out y'all <laughs> better out than in. It's like a fart. It's like if you hold it in, you explode. No! Oh my God! When you think you're done, but you turn around. How many more? That's good. Just this last one. Breathe. There's only one. 
That is like five or something. Mm-hmm. <sighs> oh God. You brained yourself? Yes. But I also stuck my hand in the water like a dummy. But I had to. There's certain sac sacrifices that I have to make. And that was one of them. It's like this brown building. It's like kind of office in some ways. Yeah. I don't got time for edges, okay? Ooh. No! Kicked over the hole. Kettle of water. Turn. We don't have time for that. Oh At least I beat your ride. <laughs> Never again. Wait, hold on. Oh. That's my $10. <laughs> Gave her $800, guys. Hey, Hendo. Thank you, Yaya. You're welcome. Alright, guys. After that, I'm retired. <laughs> no more hair for me. Ooh. <sighs> Let's get a heart free. Goodbye. I hope you get a great nap. I'll see you in two weeks. Mm -mm. You'll send me in 2022, maybe. That's two weeks, Bree. Book online. <laughs> Book online. Never again.